Are we okay. live? Yeah, yeah, we go live. Hi, hi. Are we are. Yeah, we got oh, it. Hi, hi. We just punked him live Dude, on camera. Wait, new what? shirt. Yeah. New shirt. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm wearing a new shirt. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. No, there's a stain on it though. Oh. I'm not getting. Yeah, wow. <laughs> All right, real one, real one. <laughs> hey, did you for a second? You were like, oh no. I, yeah, for a little second, I was like, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. Do people who have held, people who have held, Connor Shroud. Mm. An elite group. Wait, Shroud? Yeah. Shroud, Shroud, everyone Shroud else and, looked? Yeah, everyone else looked. When, yeah. when did, did you do this? Every okay, time? You're impl- Shroud, okay, when uh, you say that, you imply that Shroud has been in this chair. So that no, is no, not he's true. Saying, he's just saying, like, internet celebrities who didn't look. Yeah. Yeah, but... <laughs> of the people we've done it to. Just Sigma male music Collectively. playing when you say the <laughs> list. <laughs> when did you do this to Shroud? Uh, it wasn't at, me. At Beyblading. It was uh, uh, Josh. Josh yeah, Man. Josh Man tried to hit him with it. Well, Josh Man, he's just better at it. Because he's charming. Well, it didn't work. Yeah, but it didn't it work. It didn't work. So this is an example of how it didn't You're off. You just woke up and you're off. Not I'll off. say it, you're off. I'm not off. <laughs> Wait, is it slime like flop season? Yeah. I'm yeah. really confused by the list of prompts. Am, am I supposed to be confused? Yeah, don't, how about you? How, well, you, don't expose our process. Okay, sorry, sorry. You could pick one if you wanted. Let's start with the foot. What is a gas chamber? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, you've never okay. heard. Wow. That, you've never heard. <laughs> you've never heard of that. Let's, Let me teleport uh, yeah. you back to the 20th century, my man. <laughs> we were in uh, North Carolina shooting with Mr. Beast, yeah. and uh, <laughs> so we're driving, and Slime, uh, without telling anyone, me. Puts the oh, <laughs> zipper mode. Puts the child the lock room. on all of our doors oh, and then yeah. starts farting. That's what this and is. He, and none of us can roll the windows down or get out. And he just he, for like like two oh, we were, minutes. We were driving around the hotel parking lot and I yeah, wanted, like, he wouldn't let it. So we're at our destination. Car. And he just keeps circling the parking lot, farting and laughing, and we can't get out of the <laughs> car. No, 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 no. They refused to open the car and leave it while it was moving. Uh, <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I, I, think that's valid. I opened I, the door. I, no, I, I opened that. the door, but he was moving too fast to get out the back he's doing, doors were locked you were uh, the front door was not locked and i was able to crack and it you didn't we have going, what it took to leave the car to leap okay. it would leap That's, i was going at parking lot speeds in a valet was the font that bad was it yes like, yes really it's like a fog <laughs> yes. like rancid like you know in a cartoon when it comes <laughs> it out green <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah it's like yeah. that like the stink lines like yeah this th- this did happen but i think i gave everyone the option to challenge themselves, and we brought this up before. It's much like a Saw film, and no one passed the test. Yeah, but I wouldn't jump out of a car just to, you know, just get out of a mild discomfort. Yeah, for you'd five rather seconds. just complain about it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't jump out of the car. You're not crazy. Jumping out of a <laughs> yeah. car is crazy. Uh, obviously, the crazy person is the one who farted, locked the doors, and then said, "If you want to leave, jump." <laughs> <laughs> that, you're the crazy. Well, I didn't like, say budget it. jigsaw. Like, <laughs> I also didn't say it. I implied it. But that's I feel not, like that much better. You are no, laughing you maniacally. You didn't say anything. You're right. You're doing loops in the Holiday Inn parking lot. <laughs> and you're saying, you, keep saying, you keep saying, I can't find a spot. Yeah, 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 Where are the spots? Uh, that part oh, was funny. That sounds pretty funny. Because there were spots that were available, but I wasn't slowing down. I was, I was in the car with my uh, manager the other day, and I farted, and it was disgusting. And um, <laughs> it was really just like, you know, that's it for you? It was, <laughs> it was just disgusting. It just his uh, candid, like, just honesty it about was, it. It was... You know, because you know, nine times out of ten, when you fart, there's like no smell, right? Yeah, I feel well, like that's well, pretty, well, not, not for me. It, well, if it's loud, when it's, you, we're, we live in America. I feel like it's a little bit different here. Maybe, yeah. Well, it was one of those ones that was really loud and drawn out as well. And the <laughs> end had like a lot of like it was just slowly fading, like away. letting it a was balloon, like, little, yeah, 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 like air loose out of a balloon. And I thought, okay, well, no, you know, it was just funny, and I was laughing, and then it really smelled bad, and then my manager started crying. She was, like, she was like, "This what? is so disgusting. Like, I want to get was, out of the car." That was so beautiful. She was like, she was like, "You're she, fucking with us." She, no, she genuinely like started crying. And she was like, "Let me out of the car. Let me out of the car." But we were moving. So, and then you said, "If you get out of the car while it's moving, you can escape my jigsaw puzzle." I was like, "Get out! Don't you want to move? Get out in company? downtown Hollywood right now at midnight, and you can get out of the car." That is Dude, fucked. Yeah, I, was, I've was, never so done much. that. You're just better than me. Well, that was just pure, like, uh, the stars aligned. It was a felly, uh, felly oh. smelly fart, and it was really loud wait, as well. Wait, wait, and she was this? emotionally vulnerable, for, like, something <laughs> yeah. in her life made her sad. She's just really scared of farts and, like, <laughs> that kind of stuff. This, this, is uh, the this was, uh, <laughs> like, three days ago. Is this after we ate every single fast food burger? It, it was the next day, yeah. So, so maybe it's that. Yeah. It could have yeah. been that. It definitely was it's that. It's the concoction that of that eating. That amalgamation. Yeah. Of, it was our, our powerful McDonald's. American food coursing through your system. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah, you don't eat. Evil magic in your belly. You don't get that when you're eating clean fish and 
in Tokyo every day, dude. You know, everyone thinks. So I guess I, I'm from. I like hey! live in Japan. Hey! Oh, wow. That's a real yeah. bug zapper, and it just killed somebody. Oh my god! Yeah, the rest in peace, poor one out. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if your listeners know, but yeah, I live in Japan. But uh, hey, real quick, who the fuck I've, are you? I've yeah, never yeah. met you. Oh hi, hi. Uh, we literally introduced ourselves right before we started rolling, and then, and then Ludwig said. <laughs> So I'll have to he edit that out as well. That. Well, I'm the one that does the edits, so I'll be the one to do it. Okay. So we'll remember that. No. Anyway, uh, it was it. I just met him. I just woke up, and then this guy was here. So you're from Trash Taste Podcast. I am. Yeah. The co- the co- competition, right? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. What? Uh, wait. Can I, can I, yeah. Sure, the sure. competition. Can I add to that? That has three times I'm the kidding. amount of views that we do. So when we when we started this pod, uh. We needed someone to do the thumbnails, and I stepped yeah. up, and I was like, oh, I'll do them. And uh, I asked Ludwig, who's our YouTube guy, I'm like, Ludwig, Ludwig, what should the thumbnails look like? And he was like, just go copy what Trash Taste does. <laughs> so if you go back and look at like our yeah. first six episodes, they're the just your are guys' same, thumbnails, yeah, yeah, yeah. but copied. Oh, yeah, yeah Ludwig that, told me this. Yeah. Yeah. And then we eventually yeah. found our own voice and stopped copying you guys. Which is just removing the lines. Yeah, which is just removing <laughs> the lines. Yeah, I mean, Three I, things is goaded. A, yeah. a lot of people have copied a lot of the stuff from trash taste well, you guys get sense, fucking a milli yeah. per ep i'm like that's crazy we waxed his whole body and that's not even a million <laughs> yeah you got you guys talk about fucking naruto and it's over we, we don't even talk about anime much anymore <laughs> that's the it's the whole joke of like we're an anime podcast but we don't talk about anime yeah that, um, okay yeah a couple questions i because how long have you guys been doing it? I've never listened. I'm sorry. I've never. Yeah, so I never watched a Mr. Beast video either. So <laughs> that's a. I'm a boomer. I'm. I'm completely it, out of. It's actually so, true. It's so, stupid. So stupid. I, I. We were all doing YouTube separately, and we've been doing it for like. I've been doing it for seven. Gant, my co-host, has been doing it for fifteen years. Uh, Joey's been doing it for like eight or nine. And Joey, who's one of the co-hosts, he's half Japanese, uh, half Australian, lives in Japan, completely fluent. And uh, yeah, we started doing it two years ago. We, me and Garn moved to Japan, for di- not for the podcast, but then we were there and we were like, well, what else are guys going to do? Yeah. When we get together. Like, podcast. Just, of that's, course. That's like, mm-hmm. that's like, instead of going to therapy, you just start a podcast. That's yeah. what guys do. Yeah. Right? yeah. Like, <laughs> if you can, if you can get like three white or white passing guys in a room, it just, yeah. all the, all the props just spawn. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the so, right. SM7Bs will, will appear in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah. It's like click where you throw it and it comes back in yeah, your yeah, hand. Yeah. You're like, fuck, oh, hey, how's it going? But we're like, we, we didn't know it was going to turn into anything. We just kind of th- did, because, you know, a lot of YouTuber podcasts just, just don't, they don't, a don't lot of them do don't well. do well. Do it doesn't really do even well. matter if like the people on it are big sometimes. Yeah. They just don't do well. Sometimes, you know, you see YouTuber podcasts and they only get views when they have like a big guest on as well. And so mm-hmm. we were like, we didn't really expect much. But now it's crazy. It's so crazy. Do you attribute that to your goaded ability and your deep, beautiful, luscious <laughs> voice? Or do you attribute it to anime being a window into the human soul? Oh, I don't know. Why, why do you think yours has done well? I think I have some theories as to why ours has done pretty well. Well, our like, Patreon does well, but like our Sarah views are like No, fine. I think our views, are, views really are good. Your views are good for really? podcasts. I don't fucking know anything. I feel exactly. like there's just anomalies. Comparatively like, to other shows and like who and like the three of us being essentially no one. Yeah, that's crazy. It does pretty well. I'd say that's really good. And one of I think I thought about this a lot. <laughs> I think it's visual effort. Like I think like a lot yeah. of shows just don't really try, and like we have like a set and like a Patreon, yeah, like a lot yeah. of stuff in it. I think that kind of translates into we, we, yeah, like, we were really kind of uh, really strict about the idea of wanting it to be in person and filming it. We didn't. Me too. Yeah. We hated the idea of doing it over like Discord or Zoom. It's the bare minimum that yeah, you can it, do. It. Yeah. You know, and then there's not really much you can do to up the quality from that point. Right, like all you can do is like everyone record your own audio channels, maybe get a light or something. But yeah, it's yeah. kind of the, there's, there's a limit. Returns, there's a limit, point, right? Yeah. And when you're in person, there's just so much more that clicks. I guess I don't know all the details, but I think one of the things that you do that are sick are the um, like the challenge videos, like the specials. Oh, oh yeah, the specials, yeah, yeah, because yeah, that's like high effort. Like they they got all the boys, they wrangle them up, and then they meet like some drift car expert yeah. in Japan, oh. and they go drifting. Yeah, uh, and I think all those. Did you ones, do the fucking the clutch with the double clutch? Did, were you able to do that? Uh, wait, you what? You fucking suck. I, Basically, I, uh, <laughs> wait, 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 sorry, sorry. This is like his thing. It's okay. just like me what? and the people. Oh, explaining how I'm culturally literate about drifting. Basically, well, I, double I, clutching I, is when you're fucking <laughs> you're driving the car, and then you should see the the foot cam. They're like, and they fucking use all three pedals with one fucking foot. Have you seen this? No. I have, which is weird. <laughs> well, we we went drifting, and that was that was fun. Did but, you drift well? I was the best. No, I wasn't the best at it. Maybe I I, I lost the end You're challenge. Top three. 
I was top three out of three. Let's I go. was killing it in the practice. I was getting everything right. My donuts were clean as fuck. I could, <laughs> I could keep them going forever, uh, but I couldn't. The handbrake drift is so hard. My my car was in uh, just in the shop for like a couple weeks, mm. and they gave me a car in the meantime that I could use. <laughs> and it was like a it was you like a Volkswagen it? Golf, I think. And you drove it one day. I remember at our old place, and we drove into the Taco Bell slash gym parking lot, yeah. which is you know Went convenient that those two things are next to each other. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, speaking no words, slime floors it, handbrake. pulls handbrake, and does a fucking full on drift around a corner in <laughs> in the parking That's lot. So and I'm like gripping <laughs> the seats, and he pulls it to a complete stop, and he just looks at me. And I'm like, how did you do that? <laughs> it's like a video game. Dude, we, we, it's hold R1. You show your talent once, but never again. <laughs> yeah, this is the only time yeah. this has ever come I've up. Never seen it. It. Dude, yeah. we, we had like a like a drifting legend in Japan. Like dr- That's dr- dr- drive the calf rods and go around a track. And I, I you know, I'm not scared of like any roller coasters or anything. Like thrill rides nothing i was shitting myself yeah that would scare the shit out of me this dude was just kind of like really ambivalent to the thought of driving us and he was like ah whatever and the moment he got in the car it was like something changed like he he, it it looked like a psychopath when he got in the car (laughs) and the moment he goes it was just crazy he's like looking at us while he's drifting just laughing maniacally (laughs) while he's doing these spins around the corner like slamming the pedals like pumping the handbrake and he's just going crazy around this thing and he's they're all nuts they're all crazy that's (laughs) that's him with his asshole (laughs) <laughs> Everything what, the same. Pumping it like yeah, yeah, pumping it, yeah. laughing maniacally, looking at us. It's, it's, but we're in a Starbucks drive child lock. Yeah. <laughs> there is something so fun about drifting though. It's just like Yeah, it's, it's, it's naturally like this this machine you're supposed to carefully maneuver. You're just yeah. like, nah, let's let's make it move. It's dangerous though. It's so scary. That's high. Yeah, this is this is us doing it. Yeah, you uh you guys are one of like a very, very small amount of channels like who do podcasts who like we have like posted in like our slack and been like oh they do this we yeah. should try things like this and like yeah you guys is like series where you get together and do stuff yeah was any any of those videos like yeah. i showed them and i was like hey we don't do anything like this probably a good idea to start trying things like this it's yeah it's a cool way of kind of like up in what you do and showing like you're more than just a podcast it's like i think tr- some of your most viewed videos are not even your podcast episodes right it's like those yeah so i think the most viewed is one that we have with a vtuber but i think the second most viewed is the cycling special yeah yeah, yeah. that's the one i've seen yeah and yeah. i mean we love that one that one's so fun that was but like doing it on the day and trying to manage it all because it's all kind of like just kind of thrown together you're kind of like right, we think this will work and we just kind of hope it works on the day yeah and luckily it all Dude, well fuck well. me up is you don't have a tech person yeah, we don't have a tech person. Yeah, that blows my He's mind. No zipper? Yeah. Dude, That's we really came crazy. up. He's I showed zipper. him, no, no, I showed no, no. him the zipper. set earlier last <laughs> week. We came up into the <laughs> set. You're gassing the setup, which yeah, I'm like, you know, this we is appreciate. Awesome, and then I point to He's like, what's that What's that room over there? I'm like, oh, that's where a producer sits. And he's like, you have a you have a guy for that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm like the most, out of the three of us, I'm the one who knows the most about all the gear and how it works. <laughs> Um, so I just kind of like, cause the mics are so easy like enough, the on right? Button and, uh, and, dude, uh, I was saying the same thing. I was like, so there's a microphone. They're like, yeah, yeah, microphone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, microphone. <laughs> yeah. I, cause I, I came from like a voice acting background. So mics have always been like my thing. I love mics. I'm obsessed with them. I just love talking about microphones and. All right. Well, mic check. Are these overrated? Everyone uses them. Are they overrated? They're great for podcasts. They're like, that's see. the reason why everyone uses them. They, but like for like uh, voice acting, you don't use these. They're too, they, they're too muddy on the low end. Can I confess something to you? Okay. So uh, we met before this. We met rock climbing. Yeah, we did. uh, Ludwig, I did a thing. And uh, when we introduced ourselves to each other, neither of us said our names. Oh, we didn't? So we were like, hey, nice to meet you. And we just kind of shook hands and we just started rock climbing. I thought until like yesterday that you were odd one out. (laughs) (laughs) Because you showed up with, I did a thing. I didn't learn oh. your name, which I don't even think that would have helped because I don't know his name. It's a generic white uh, name. Sorry. And I was just like, this must be the guy he boxed. Maybe they're, because they post pictures hanging out after. And I was like, oh, I, don't know. Oh, I fucking killed this. <laughs> That'd be so weird. And he's like, and he's like, it's his little lackey. Yeah. Now, well, come no. here, come here, Oswald. <laughs> come and climb. They're climbing the wall. Then. Doesn't make him a lackey. Bring you up again. No, he's great at this. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't make him a lackey. He's just hey, hanging out. Hey, do a backflip. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, think, think and then about- yeah, so I didn't even realize uh, who you were. Yeah. That's, I mean, I, I'm not like I don't give a fuck about people caring who I am. That's whatever. Do you prefer yeah, do you prefer well your rap name or your regular name? My regular name. Much, okay. much you don't more. want Sea Dog VA. <sighs> oh wait, that's your that's his online on YouTube. Name. It's Sea yeah. Dog. Yeah, is Sea Dog in the building, bro? 
That that started. Step off. It's because like he's, oh, he's like really good at like the blood fingers. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I sick hand puppets too. Yo, what's up? It's Sea Dog from Wales. I, I've told the story a bunch before, but like, um, so I used I, I started doing voice acting before I did um YouTube, and I was doing it on websites, and I my first name was the same name as like my Xbox gamer tag. <sighs> Right, and I was so scared that my friends would find out, and they would like bully the shit out of me if they just happened to search <laughs> Wait, were my you, game. Were attack. you trying? To, were you being like an anime like nine year old girl in the voice well, acting? Well, I mean, just like in the UK, even like playing video games too much back when I was growing uh -huh. up was still like. Like Lame. it was what you would be bullied for. Oh. So anime was like completely off the table. Wow. It was like, I already was struggling in the social hierarchy of like, I was in like the mid range. Of the, of the lads. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, Cause I didn't play, I didn't play football. Uh, not, Ooh, not American football. I, I, didn't play, I didn't play soccer. You didn't play oh, football. Thank God you translated it because yeah. I was confused. Are you I, fucking get <laughs> fucky with me? You, you, <laughs> you, <laughs> no, joke, you, right. joke, you joke, but it's <laughs> such is, a serious thing. Come on, man. It's, it's, it's a Wales. religion. It's, it's a Wales. religion. If you ain't fucking playing football with my era. It's, it's what is this accent? <laughs> <laughs> he was Billy really Butcher Wales. from the Boys. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck you, what you do? This yeah. is fucking <laughs> diabolical. <laughs> like. so it's actually the meme where you're walking, like a friend walks in your room and you're watching anime, and then you tab out, and they're like, "What are you doing?" You're like watching porn. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, uh, porn. Uh, I'm jerking off. Yeah, I was watching uh, dirty, yeah. dirty, weird porn. It's, uh, uh, milf busters. Yeah, I, I told, I told one of my closest friends, I was like, "I'm kind of into this thing. It's, it's called anime," and he was like, "He was like, what the fuck's wrong with you?" Damn. Like, what the fuck dude and now kids are wearing fucking yeah, like yeah. af ones with goku Bro, on it it, <laughs> it, it sucks because now i'm like what the fuck i got bullied for liking what like yeah. now is street cred yeah how old are you i'm 25 nearly 26 i thought you were so much we're older. like the same age by like yeah. like 12 days oh. yeah but like the uk like um kind of like i don't know school culture and what's in is like five ten years behind america mm. so like uh, you would tell me about all the smash tournaments and stuff that were happening yeah. Like none of like there's just like not much of that in the UK. Well, like, there, fair, there is he, some. he was a he was a loser in high school. So right, but yeah. at least you could go and meet up with the other losers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I couldn't go meet other losers. You you could do that. Yeah, I wish yeah, I yeah. wish yeah. I could hang out with other losers. You go, there was nobody. It smells like Canadian in here. Yeah, so you're a little isolated, but you're also from Wales, the Dragon Country. Yeah, I'm I'm fluent in Welsh. I did all my schooling in Welsh. Wait, um, is that a language? I'm not. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> uh, you want to speak a little bit, dude? How's you know what he said yeah, the other day too. He said, "Who's messy." <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said who's messy, I, like, actually. You, the other day, like, that didn't happen, like, six months ago. <laughs> I, I, but to be fair, I haven't thought about Messi since, and I still I just know he, he's a footballer. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm culturally uh, illiterate I, in some ways. Uh, Imagine calling Messi a footballer. <laughs> Question. Is he not? If you were, it's like if, saying Michael Jordan is a basketball player. Mm -hmm. Or like, a basketball player. He's a basketball player. <laughs> he's a basketball player. He's a basketball player. He's a basketball player. He's a basketball player. So like at home, if you if you were like juggling a soccer ball and you couldn't get more than two, what would the boys like say to you? They might make fun of you. They Like some examples. Like let's maybe. say you get three tries though. You, like, you get three tries to get three hits on a ball. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure. It's been so long since I've been in there. How about let's run it? Since you're a voice actor, since you're a voice actor, let's run a scenario. <laughs> oh in God. The, we're going. We're tra time traveling back, <laughs> all the way back to your weird Welsh days, growing up in the <laughs> Where dragon. Was slippery I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm, covered yeah. in when you when you oil. were in school with Richard Lewis <laughs> <laughs> and all this shit's going and on. You have okay. to tame the dragon. <laughs> yeah, right. We have to do that. And right. we're back. And I am you. And you are a bully, okay? <laughs> and so I'm you, and I'm 15, and I'm a pussy. Nervous right? when your I voice is going to be here. Suck. Suck. I and I'm like, like, okay. I'm like, having had my growth spree, I'm like handsome. I don't have the beautiful voice that you have now. All the attributes that you have now just haven't happened yet. So, and I'm <laughs> trying to, oh, oh, I miss juggling the ball. <laughs> Wait, what a fucking. Look at him! Can't oh, even kick a ball. The ball oh, again. Why are you oh, Rick no. from you're Rick and from Rick and Morty? Oh, right Rick. Now. <laughs> Rick, 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 Morty, Rick, Morty. Oh, oh, Rick! I'm British going on an adventure. I'm British in it's, this universe. Oh, oh Rick. look at the fucking. Oh, I can't say that. I can say that. Is there not like some oh, yeah. similarity? He's the only one that can. Oh god. Is there what? Is there not some similarity here though? Where you like, if you didn't watch the game last night, you have to. No, this is if you haven't shot a guy in the head here. Oh right, right. Yeah. it makes you like a huge pussy. Oh shit, wait, that's kind of whack though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's. I I think you are. It depends on where you grow up. Like I think yeah, you get bullied, but there's not this like homogenous like. Oh, you don't watch footy, you're gonna get killed. Like culture, you know. I grew up in a really, really small school, right, right. And it was so small that like everyone was just f fucking kind of chill. How but many, how many people did you have in like? Your I had sixty nine kids in my graduating class, and oh. that's funny. 
And that's uh, yeah, real. I think uh, <laughs> in my final high school, it was like 80. And then my final sixth form, which is kind of like the two years before college, that was 30. Oh, shit. It was, it was an all Welsh school. Like all my exams and stuff was in, we were in Welsh. You what speak, is you the speak difference? A little? Yeah. Uh, so what do you like? Uh, What's that one word that, that shows up on the, my YouTube homepage? And it's like Connor says, and then it's the word in Welsh. Oh, yeah. So there's like a, have you, do you know the really long town name? I've done this like a million no, times. No. There's a really, really long town name. And I'll, I'll say it slowly, but it's Llanvaer Pulgwingach uh, Gogerach Echundobl Llantasiliach Gogogoch. They kept the the, going. Yeah, so yeah, that's bar, yeah, and if you hit the red barn, you've gone too far. <laughs> are there are there spaces in that when it's no, written? No, that's down? all. Yeah, this is this what is the town the name. Fuck? Oh, this is the town name. Dude, so. were they kidding? So the, it, was, <laughs> it, it was named for like a popularity, uh, like a, a, a stunt. It was just kind of like changed because the town was right. really boring. Oh. There's not really much there. It's a Bodie McBoat face situation. Yeah, there's a cool climbing <laughs> gym there. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh. That's it. Uh, there's nothing there. There's a really comically large uh, train sign where like they have the full. <laughs> so so thing. they lean into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like Wales is just really small. Like out of all the UK countries, it's like similar size like Northern Ireland, a little, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but yeah, it has its own language, like Scotland and, and Ireland. So they have, I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah, Wait, they all have. I thought they were all accents. No, so when you go to Wales or Ireland, you'll notice the, the town name, like on the signs, they'll have like Gaelic and English. And in, oh, and in, Gaelic, I didn't know about that one. Yeah, and in Wales, just, they have Wales and English. Wow. Think the world history class dude, right now, dude. That is right there. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I didn't come on here to give like an education thing. No, 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 this is great. I'm just, the, 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 the humor to draw from this is how woefully unprepared I am to understand an entire continent uh, of people, which is well, Europe. I mean, it's like same for me when I'm living there, and I'm like, "What the fuck is going on outside?" Like, it's so homogenous in Wales. It's, it's oh. just, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's I, crazy. I want to, I want to bathe in your voice. It's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like morphine in my ears. Yeah, oh, thank you, guys. It's Maybe that's why the podcast does well. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's Do all you, you. Ever work on your voice. Uh like, yeah. I mean. Physically? <laughs> the voice physically how? I don't know what I'm saying is your your physical voice that you have that you were born with is very nice. Is that anything you just did? luck? It's just luck. Okay. Yeah, I, you I, didn't like like coat it in oils. No, no. I I remember when I was like uh, when I was like thirteen, and my voice started breaking, and obviously it was breaking a lot. And everyone in school thought I was like joking. They thought I was like putting on it because I used to do voices all the time. I used to like fuck around. So people just thought like, oh, he's he's doing a bit. And then I was like, I, I thought I was also I had a sore throat, and it just didn't go. What did mm. what, what did the sound? You, when it broke, you mean it was all cracky and shit? Yeah, it was kind of like flipping between being high pitch at one moment and then this. Isn't that crazy when you're like a teenager, like it's in middle school? Fucked. Everyone makes fun of you for that, but also everyone does it. Yeah. 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 Don't you, you're just waiting for your turn yeah. and then you go through it <laughs> yeah. and then you just transfer that pain to other people. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. It's like a collective bullying. It yeah, just, it's like, it's the same thing for like women when they're waiting for their periods. If it doesn't happen, <laughs> if it doesn't happen fast enough, you get bullied. Actually? Yeah. That's really? Crazy. Well, I think maybe you internalize the bullying, but you're like, you're kind mm. of a loser. How do you find out if someone hasn't had their period? It's like so easy to lie, right? I think maybe you'd brag about it or you just start <laughs> having puberty. So like puberty you things You could just happen. lie and be like, yeah, I period. I'm sure that happens. Right. Actually, it's I'm sure it's one of those things lie, we'll lie where if you're, if you're first to the table with that, you're probably also getting made yeah. fun no, of. No, I've had it. It's cool. I had a lot of it. So I'm like bleeding a lot and I need so many. <laughs> I had to go to the hospital yeah. the other day. Dude, you should see how much blood <laughs> I don't think this is ever a thing. No, 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 no. Thing. I will say like every there's kids are fucking vicious. I myself mm. I think I've told this before, like I uh I didn't have armpit hair when I was <laughs> like in fourteen. Hey <laughs> Relax, loser. I don't have armpit hair, Bro. and I got made fun of by this kid who was really mean to me all the time. And he's like, "You don't even have armpit hair, you pussy." And I'm like, "Oh, I had pubes, but I had armpit hair." And you're like, like, "Check this out." Well, dude. no, I was just like, "Well, I, I guess he's right. I don't have that yet." <laughs> and so when I, I I developed this habit of when I would raise my hand in class, I would cover no. my my armpit. Oh. That's oh. trauma. Yeah, that's yeah. trauma. Yeah. So it's that's like tra- that's a fucking dumbass thing to like worry about. But he gave me that complex. And, you know, I, I'm sure it exists with, like, all kinds of shit. So. Dude. I'm, I'm so scared about having kids now. Because, like, what if, like, that one time you just shout at them the wrong way? And uh, then that's something they just they remember, remember forever. forever. And then that's, like, all they remember and from then you. And they, <laughs> they gut you in your sleep, and it's yeah. over. Yeah, I'm afraid to have a kid because I remember. might yell at it, too. <laughs> it's it's like, this it. fucking thing. I'm just going to fucking yell at <laughs> I don't have a kid because I know I'll scream at him. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Cutie came running in the room the other day because I, I yelled. And she's like, what, what happened? And I was just yelling at Coots. Like, because Coots does this thing. Coots is like a kitten. Yeah, but she bites constantly when she's mm-hmm. tired. And she claws. Oh, and, yeah. And, and so I didn't want to, like, like you know, physically restrain her. So I just go, ha! Ah! <laughs> ha! Ah! <laughs> when she would do it, hoping I'd scare her and have her stop. <laughs> but I kept doing it, like, more and more distressed. Yeah. Until I was, like, <laughs> screaming. Like I was like, ah! 
<laughs> and then and then Cutie's like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "Well, I'm trying to t- Did train. It work? I'm trying to train. No, no, oh. no, no. Still <laughs> yeah, a lot of energy. Coots has been um, total stalking bastard. me around the house, thinking I don't notice. Yeah. So like, <laughs> like, so like hiding behind things and peering, and then following me wherever I yeah. go. And uh, so the other funny. day, Coots ran into my room right when I opened the door. Ran into my room, went into my bathroom, and hid from me. Mm. And then I went to go find her. And I'm like looking, I'm looking, and I finally find her. And I go in, I grab her, take her out of my room. Cause I'm like, yeah, cutie's gonna wonder where you are. And I walk out, and then just fucking rips a hole in my hand, in the back mm. of my hand, and jumps out. I was just like, oh my god, god. you were, you did this. She's yeah. a vicious child. She's becoming mischievous. Because you spoil her too much. I well, I know. I'm I'm gonna give her firm spankings. What do you do with a cat? <laughs> yeah, you spank the cat. I, you, you go bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you throw it against the wall. Like spit, a you spit vodka <laughs> in its do mouth. That. Yeah, Why do you it's do like that a, it's like the Chow Garden. You make it evil. <laughs> you throw the Chow. You throw it at the wall until it's evil. Yeah. Coots like starts to grow little horns. You ever play Sonic Adventure Two Battle? Yeah, I love the Chows. Yeah, yeah. You know if you throw them at the walls, they turn evil. Do they really? I didn't yeah. know this. <laughs> yeah. If you abuse your chows, they turn into evil chows. Fucking obsessed with that. And if you chows. give if you pet them all the time, they turn into angel chows. Yeah, you gotta be nice. But you have to do it like a lot. You, like it's it's bad for your brain as a kid. I was thinking, because you got a complex from this guy bullying you, mm. where all my confidence came from in high school was from one kid who I shared theater class with. And he was this, you were a theater kid? I was a theater oh, kid. Wow. But sense, I was huh? a weirdly yeah, confident theater connected. kid. Uh, which isn't normal, and I think the reason was because there was this kid a year younger than me. <laughs> that some was, would say that's the problem. Well, <laughs> <laughs> is that they have a lot of confidence. <laughs> anyway, continue. Yeah. He was six three. He had a bowl cut, very very thin, Jack Skellington style, mm. and he wore a suit every single day, and he spoke in a British accent. <laughs> the factor being, wow. he had never been to England in his what? life, but he still did Ooh. one every day. Uh, for like three years to the point it was like sixth grade to like like ninth grade where he just it stuck and he it's like it wasn't an authentic one yeah it was i was just, gonna ask ooh. was it good like was i was like mine? a new hampshire right but it was like it was clearly not forced because it was natural which means it was good but i think if he went to england they'd be like where are you from I, hey I, come I, on over here come on it was definitely <laughs> <a> much <laughs> more mild just, I, I, went, just, I went to medieval times the other day oh my dude first time ever. we gotta go have you guys have uh, any of you guys there? i know what it is that, i've never that, been you have a dragon that, tail soup dude that was a trip oh. I, no dude it was fucking food is awful um <laughs> what it was just the driest you like chicken that, your haggis there was no haggis. It was just dry chicken. They're trying to make it authentic place. to back in the and, day. Uh, I used to go all the, the time. They as all a kid. do British accents, and like yeah. there was like one dude where I'm, I was so convinced that maybe he is just is British because it was so good, and I was like, I don't, I don't think this guy's trying. But there was another dude who then immediately spoke after him, and it was like it was just it was really bad. <laughs> oh, I love you. What you are? What can you do? It's like what? Hey, what are you doing? You doing? <laughs> but, then, but then, like on your, we uh, did the burger video, right? Right. On, uh, and there's a bunch of the comments on Ludwig's uh, video are like, "This guy isn't British. He doesn't sound British." Because I've obviously lived in Japan for a while, and I've been around a lot of Americans. So a lot of people are like, "He's not British anymore." He's, he's he doesn't sound Welsh at all because my my I sound a, a lot different from how I used to sound. Well, you play you the video. Don't, you don't yeah. sound super Welsh. We were talking about. Yeah. It I've met people from Wales and their accents are fucked. Yeah, well, yours is not. They have like the accent like, oh, uh, my uh, my name's Connor. I talk like this, you know. And, yeah, like, everyone's from the village. And <laughs> yeah, they, everyone <laughs> sounds like, sounds like, sounds like <laughs> more of that. <laughs> I love that. Can we yeah. actually yeah. just pay so you to do that my, the whole time? I've got my like my my family that like Scottish accents, right? And they all like talk like this, right? And you know, like oh. Oh, Connor, when you're like, oh, you're not you gotta leave it all concrete. That's like all that. I got. Literally like that. I Literally hit the like nuclear that. button Don't say too that's soon. all I got like you got anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. it was oh, you got smells like stinks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you say? <laughs> it stinks like shit. Accent. Oh, okay. your butt just stinks like shit all the time. <laughs> My butt? <laughs> I got a sticky butt. <laughs> oh, so yeah. So welcome to the party. I saw you uh, one week ago. Great. She was so dead. Why you, so why do you think that your guys is like performs better than ours? Do you think it's like, <laughs> do you think it's like, like anything specific? Or? Sorry, sorry uh, I'm just milking the cash uh, cow right now. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Okay. Did you did you have a finish to your guy? Yeah. So the guy, the final finale of him, and I think I might have said this in the pod before, but I went to a theater party, which is a degenerate thing to go to. Oh shit! I didn't even realize the story wasn't over. It, no, you're fine. You, we do this yeah, a lot. Sorry, it's sorry, how sorry. it goes, okay. baby. It's how it goes. And you're we, fine, lad. <laughs> why, <laughs> why can't you do it, it? Do it in a speaking <laughs> like a room <laughs> volume. <laughs> how about your speaking in a microphone? I can't believe you haven't said the. Diaper so <laughs> did you say? So did you bad. say? <laughs> it's obviously bad. It's like you weren't surprised horrific. about this. 
<laughs> and like that? You like that? He likes it. You Look, sound this like this is a, my only job. <laughs> it's, to make, it's to make him un- is, the, render him <laughs> incapable if, of contributing. If you were Asian, it'd be like the equivalent of like just the no. opposite way. Yeah. 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 Like, no. My no. samurai family. No. No. That's no. like the equivalent. Sir, how dare you? Actually, I actually might say that me saying so this guy is a better Japanese accent than you are doing. That's better, dude. That's so bad. No, hey. Hey, look, hey, Scott's in the fucking comments. <laughs> Why don't you let me know? Sure, yeah. any, any commenters? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, yeah. I have like a super, <laughs> love- a super Scottish second last name. What it, is it? It's Cahoon. But like, Ooh. it's got like loads of letters that aren't pronounced. It's like C O L Q U H O U N. There's like a mm. picture of a moose in it. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it actually my, is. my last name's Scottish as shit, dude. We we I, we have like a coat of arms, and it's like like a yeah. moose and shit. My oh, yeah, family's, like your, my your family's got a yeah, coat yeah, of yeah. arms. <laughs> you do too. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Fucking <laughs> yeah. coat like of arms, buddy. The McKegs. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. This is like a racist thing, or what is this? No, no, it's like a like a historical thing. Yeah, families. Oh, hold on, it's historical. Historically. Historically, they wanted to keep the bloodline pure, uh-huh. which okay. yeah, that's and that's what the big armor and the swords. It's to kill the well, enemy. It was, it was about making sure that the Pope didn't interfere too much. Okay. <laughs> oh, government. <laughs> we believe in Protestant pride. Whoa. You watch uh, you watch anime. <laughs> they're Catholic. He has seen they? he has seen <laughs> the one Please. anime with whales. You should watch Vinland Saga. He's right? watched it. We, we watched, watched it. Together. Actually, Did he watch it? Together, yeah. Badass, yeah. Oh I've yeah. Watched, it's so funny. I've watched like four anime all the way through, dude, and that's one of those. Vinland Saga is fucking amazing, dude. The the theme song and is the second season is different, right? Yeah. yeah. The first season theme song. I literally put it in my Spotify playlist. Did you guys, did you guys finish the season? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. the ending of the great. season? Bro. I think you would hate it because you would watch it and they would have normal accents and you'd be like, no. <laughs> Wait, want, normal? What do you mean? Like normal, normal Welsh accents? It's, it's and they don't like go, Oh, I say, where's your doubloons now? <laughs> oh, look, loud, Rick, what is an enemy? <laughs> what was that? Give us our Rick. Says, oh, there's, Rick. There's, no, there's no Scotland in it. There's no Scotland. Rad says, translate that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mars, they were in an anime. Finish the fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> we're watching Dr. Horrible sing along blog as you do at a theater party. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, great. NPH, you should watch it probably on YouTube. Great, yeah. Uh, and then after it ends, they play some music and like we go upstairs and then he stays downstairs with his girlfriend. And, uh, and like I go down and it's like it looks like it was a little bit weird. And I find out later that he was grinding. And as he was grinding, he busted his pants and camed everywhere. And he just had big old cum splotch. He done camed it. He done cummed himself. <laughs> and I shit you not, he shows up next day at school, suit, tie, British accent out of his mind, zero embarrassment. And I'm like, why am I ever embarrassed if this guy can cum himself oh. in a room full of theater kids and come with a fake British that's accent? A, that's, took, that's Welsh for like, hello. You stole, the, <laughs> the, you stole the cum yourself. Yeah, I thing. took that bit from him. I took that bit from you, him. Did you? You're like, hey, I'll just be me. So like, what do you do? And he's like, I just like don't jerk off and I don't, I'm uncut. And I'm like, tie it, tie it, tie it. <laughs> <laughs> you think when he busted his pants, he was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, heavens, I couldn't oh, imagine heavens. changing my pants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, honey, not tonight. <laughs> Another that was actually good. Another uncut brother, presumably yeah, on yeah. the pod. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it's a oh, land of sir, dragons. Sir, we're outnumbered. I was, I was really shocked uh, that everyone here is circumcised. Put that down. Not us. Really? Not us. Yeah, so well, he's Canadian, and uh, my parents are European. French. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I'm a first gen American. Uh, the, this one time, I, I overheard a conversation at Starbucks, and uh, she was like, "Yeah, the sex was good, but." It was kind of nasty. He he uh, still had his foreskin, and I was like, "What?" That's a thing, dude. Wow. My first like, girlfriend what? in college reached down into my pants, touched my peepee that was slightly hard, and she went, "Ooh," and then pulled it out. Well, because it was because uh, it was just uncut. Hey, 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 don't! It was probably real hard. It was, <laughs> <laughs> you're acting like you were nonchalant. You were probably was, losing your fucking no, I was, mind. I was like chilling. I was like, you I was blowing like a, your pants was, all the time. <laughs> what it was is like a soft seven. You know how like that happens? Yeah, yeah, I just yeah. want you to be honest when you tell. I your was stories. halfway to the, my hard nine. <laughs> yeah, and she she recoiled in horror. Yeah, and then she leaped. Is, is that she, a witchy grub down there? Why is there such a thing? <laughs> why, why does everyone get circumcised? I really don't know. I think I dead ass asked my mom once. May God rest her soul in hell. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You like that one? She's she did pass away. My mom is dead. What? Uh, <laughs> what? what? Yeah, I, I was laughing. Ask about his dad. Yeah. What, what, what happened to he dad? Di- <laughs> he died ten feet away from me in January. <laughs> 
Why are you so casual about it? Because <laughs> is it does it? <laughs> why is it so funny, Eamon? Aiden, that's kind Why of are you speaking out, so casually about this? Because <laughs> how else are you supposed to speak I guess so, about yeah. it? It's you know? not funny. <laughs> I just it's not well, funny. I, I would imagine. you're laughing, you find it funny? Well, you, the part of rest in hell. <laughs> that that <laughs> part is funny. <laughs> that's <laughs> funny. That's <laughs> no, my mom died a long, tough, long enough time ago to where I can say that as a joke and it's still funny. She was great. Anyway, my mom. <laughs> she was, I love it. Like a side note, like she's great. By the way. She's great. <laughs> she took, she's a great person. But she, uh, she's in hell now. And she, what, <laughs> what she did, I remember I asked her, I was like, mom, why am I circumcised? And yeah. she's just like, I just wanted, I wanted you to have a good looking penis. Like she cared about that because she herself was like in her life is like oh whatever i say an uncut penis is like oh like I've the, got cu a, the cultural thing stepped into her what is, mind what is as so well. weird about I've it i've got a lot of time it. of neutral to positive reviews i've never had a bad experience well i mean how that his experience i feel like is rare where a a, a woman liter very literally is like ew, 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 <laughs> Like a, like a mouse in the 40s. Yucky, yeah. yucky, yucky, get it, get it, get it, get it. Like, I think that's kind of kind of weird. I think <laughs> typically when you're a normal human being, you're like, something's a little Well, I bet different. Aiden's weird about it. Aiden probably whips it out and he goes, yeah, so, um, like, yeah, so this is, this is actually called an uncircumcised penis. So uh, my family, my family's from Canada and. He's like, when I do this, I can make it look kind of yeah. like a trampoline. And so. The, you know, no I, I, I just I don't woman understand. who wants to have sex with me, here's the lore about my dick. <laughs> I, why, why is the first four when you have a kid, you're like, let's just fucking let's just trim the dick let's just do it well, okay so, so it, it was it. i think it was generally like a health thing early on because you have to when you have a foreskin clean your foreskin pee -pee. yeah yeah and i think like back in the day when there weren't regular showers like we didn't start brushing our teeth till 100 years ago regularly uh that yeah we've they, come a long way they were like they were like oh you just cut it off and it's healthier and i would i would have they folded then. that into jewish tradition as well no. which is probably the it, huh? it was popularized in america because some guy spread the myth that it would stop your kid from jerking off. Wait, somebody told me wow. this. Yeah. yeah. It, that's it, how Wendo, it, wait, it, that's it was how Wendover. It, please make a video on That's how it on caught this. on in the US. <laughs> no, it was the, it was the guy who made Kellogg. It was John Kellogg. Yeah, he actually. Made, he made bland cereal because yeah. he thought it would make people not jerk off. And then he also popularized getting your dick cut because he thought yeah. it would make yeah, people not jerk off. because you don't yeah. want your kid yeah. to go blind we got, we got from beating off. Jewish DLC. Everyone's dicks just lose foreskin. Uh-huh. <laughs> and if you guys buy Kellogg's, you're supporting that. Yeah, that is true. There's a lot of document, but I don't know about the pee-pee part. Why does anyone eat cornflakes? They're just so... They're so bland. We should, we should all pay it as tax to the government, and then we can, like, build dams with the it. The foreskin? Yeah. yeah. I don't like it. Give it's it like a recycling program. Yeah. Dude, it, imagine... Just compost it, you know? We, and we, we, yeah. put it, we put it into <laughs> things, like headphones don't and love We make that. baseballs out of it? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, there is a guy on TikTok who makes soccer balls, out and he has, skin? like, little patches. No, but, like, <laughs> hey, next one. Yeah, it's like an... Uh, wait, what is the shape on a soccer ball? Quid, it, quid pro quo. That's his name. It, it, it's uh, a bunch of pentagons. Isn't, what yeah, do you pentagons, mean the shape? Right? Yeah. The shape on it. There's, there's the shape of the, the, the patches. Pentagons. There's a lot of different balls. Generally, the pentagons. most popular. When you think of a soccer ball and you're like cartoon soccer ball, it's like little pentagons. What's your or is it hexa? It might be hexa. No, it's a pentagon. Three, four, five. five. Zipper. Computer. Pull Monka up w. soccer ball. W. Soccer ball now. Soccer. Do they call it a football ball? It's just a ball. It's a football. It's a ball. A football. It yeah. is a pentagon. pentagon. Mm -hmm. yeah. God bless America. God, I, just, I get like flashbacks to school and bullying. And, uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that, all it does it? A lot of, a lot of trauma in that ball. But now you're a fucking successful ass dude with a lot of stuff. So. You live in Nippon Desuka. <laughs> no, Desu. <laughs> Desuka. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I live in Japan now. You what? speak Japanese? Uh, conversational. We uh, talk sometimes. Moshi -moshi. Together. Don't say Moshi -moshi. we talk. Don't, don't you don't say you've never been there. Enough you've to, never been there. Enough to get by. It's it's weird because I, I go to class once a week for like two hours uh, and that's it. And I, I only started learning the moment I got to Japan. Which and, was when? Uh, three years ago. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just kind of learned mainly from uh, going out drinking and talking to people. That's like the best way. You but you're still not super, super fluent? No, no, God, no. Is that for lack of trying or is it just a really yeah. difficult language? Both. <laughs> okay. it's, it's, it's such a, I think if you don't know any other language, it's really confusing um, the thought of like going to another country and just, you'll just think like, I'll just pick it up. Like, I'll, I'll just learn it. And it's so much not that. It, it's so <laughs> much harder than that. And a lot of YouTube uh, comments, every now and then I get, a, I get a bit of shit. People are like, I can't believe he's been there for three years and he's not fluent. That's so fucked up. Like, how, how disrespectful. They say it holding their fucking body pillows. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, it's- Go it's, fuck yourself. It, it's hard. Like, uh, it's, it's, J Japanese is fucking hard. Yeah, like, it's crazy. It's a completely different language laid out completely <laughs> differently to any language. Because I speak fluent Welsh and English. And uh, the pronunciation of the letters is similar to Welsh, but nothing else is the same. 
in any of them. It's so confusing. When I was there, uh, all, all I knew was Sumimasen. Well, that's, that's one of the important so, ones. I was so afraid to say it to anyone because yeah. I thought I would butcher it. Yeah. And so like people would like at, at restaurants and stuff, I like, mm. ask me or whatever. And like anytime I could use the word, I'd be mm. like, oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> they're like, huh? Yeah, but they love that. Like, if you just, if you're, when you go and visit there, if you make no effort to even speak a little bit, they kind of like, they're like, eh, whatever. But if you go make just a tiny bit of effort Dude. to like say, like, sumasen or arigato zaimasu. Don't go deska the ramen yeah. bar. Yeah, right. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> even if, even well, if you do that, well, they will appreciate walking. that more than you just talking to them. Senpai. He's walking Yo, out of the subway going, moshi, mo! <laughs> moshi, moshi, don't they stall the, the shitter? <laughs> arigato, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they, they appreciate that. They, even if you do it in that shit accent. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not as bad as his stuff. Have you gone to the Capybara Gardens? Have Wait, you seen what is that? that? Yeah, you know what Capybara is? Uh, is the for pull up largest capybara? rodent it's in like the world. It's like a dog. Oh. They call them coconut. <laughs> like dog. Dog. It's, it's, it's just the largest rodent. It's the, in the largest world. rodent. They're, what the fuck? They're super nice. They like they're friends with all other animals and like uh, they like alligators and they're very cute. You can go to any animal ball you Wait, want. Wait, they don't get. Oh, what I'm saying the is, gators? It, no, the gators don't eat them. At least in that one picture. There's one <laughs> picture. <laughs> to be clear, there's one picture where a caviar bar sitting on a gator. They're in the same blood rotation. That, but there's certainly situations. There's also a picture where caviar is riding on a turtle. So that's cool. Anyway, they, in Japan, they are very, uh, they're very popular, and they're like, people are really nice to them. They, they, literally, yeah. literally lives there. Has Dude, never heard of a lot. lot. <laughs> so, so like Japan, you know the place. Just right? look yeah, up yeah. Kamikura uh, Garden. But they basically like feed them watermelons and like they, it's they a place have, where they're allowed they to be. They have everything. Every kind of exotic animal. Even the monkey mountain. Uh, the, I've seen the snow monkeys. There's like a mountain you hike up, and there's monkeys at the top. There's a lot of places with monkeys in Japan. Yeah, they're like a they're like a pest. What? Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, well, hold on. I see what you're saying. Because they just take everything. Yeah, they're like. And they're small. I like the monkeys that like take your cigarettes away. Yeah, and they well, go those and are in like smoke other them. country, other Southeast Asia. There were signs. Though. There were yeah. signs going up Monkey Mountain that were like, if you see a monkey doing any of these faces, yeah. do not look at them anymore. Oh. Like, it means that they think like they're threatened, and they show you their teeth, and it oh. means that they're gonna attack you. Dude, the snow monkeys are sick. They're like chilling in the onsen. They like yeah, snow, they like snowboard. I've seen, them, the, I've seen little videos of them taking baths. It's sick. They run, they're running around you and they're just sitting in the bath and like they're just grooming each other and they don't. They, even Wait, though, they like, in the bath with you? No, you know, so you're not allowed you to go in this bath. With those guys, but you're allowed to go literally right to the edge of the bath and yeah. they're, they're jumping in, coming out, and they're just chilling there. They don't give a fuck that you're watching. It's so cool. I got tattooed in Japan. It was sketchy. Really? There's not a lot of tattoo artists there. Well, because you, they just changed the law, but up until a few months ago, you had to have a a beauty to be a fully qualified doctor. As well as a oh, wow. My guy was not a doctor. Yeah, well, he's pretty sketch. <laughs> it's probably some Yakuza thing. He was a doctor of playing metal music. Oh, he's probably a Yakuza dude. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You used to have to have a doctor's license. Yeah. So, like, go to med school for like seven years. His and then shop like, oh, was like I'm gonna make. His shop was like in a basement under a real business, and there was yeah. no sign. Yeah, maybe it was Yakuza. But he was just stoked to tattoo an American. Yeah, it's pretty Yakuza. It's pretty a Yakuza. So Did you do the fuck. video with the Yakuza guy? Ah, uh, that was Joey. That was Joey. Uh, but he told me all about that. It seemed fucking terrifying. Yeah. I mean, those, I think they were legit, like, uh, he was showing me pictures of the other dude who was, like, the manager of the Yakuza dude, and he looked super Yakuza. Yeah. Had, like, the pimp jacket on and everything, like, like, like dripped out. It was crazy. There's like a, a GTA there's, character. There's a documentary, like, about, uh, I think, drug cartels with this, like, ex, um, what is it, SAS in, in, in the UK, like, the special British forces. Yeah, SAS, yeah. And, and he's, like, this jacket. Oh, the in-betweeners. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's the guy from the in-betweeners, but he's just really good at shooting rifles. But he has this jacket, and he's, like... I'm gonna go like hang out. Like, okay. Why I'm are you gonna, always on your nerves? Now you're nervous. I'm just getting, That's fine. Go ahead. I, I, I won't up. judge you. I will, but I won't. I'm gonna go hang out with a cartel. He says, and he does, <laughs> and he does, and they like respect him. And he's like, uh, "Who would you like to kill?" He's talking to like some Sicario from from the cartel, and they, and they translate it, and the guy's like, uh, "Someone like you." Yeah. And he's oh. like, "What?" And they're laughing, and he's like, "Why?" He's like, "You're just like you're a motherfucker," and I've never killed a motherfucker before. Like, <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. There video. are there's a subculture within these groups like gangs and, and giant organizations and yeah. cartels where they like they want to be talked about yeah they and they like want to like let you know that they're fucking badass and they won't kill you if yeah. you're doing a documentary yeah remember i used to have that that question when i watched like vice stuff like that it's like why would they video like have all of this on video like why would the op be in like a whole documentary it's because like, this is like fucking mm, cool they want to show it yeah. off I, yeah. I, 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 was, I filmed this one video at a, a strip club and um we had overran our time a little bit and I presumably the owner came in and he was like, he must've been like 80, but he, he looked like, you, you know, when someone walks in and you know, they're in charge. Yeah. yeah. He <laughs> walks in, there's like three dudes, but right behind him. And he starts getting angry that we're not done. 
and starts like just shouting at these dudes and going off on one. And I was like, okay, okay. This is in Japan. Yeah, this is in Japan. I was just freaking out because this dude was like looking angry. And I was packing up, packing up, trying to get out. And then he started like just shouting more. And then as we were leaving, we just heard him like fucking going off on one. I have no idea what happened. Oh. And I, he was just pissed off that we'd overran and that we were filming in his club and that we didn't finish. And we Could said you understand word. what he was yelling? Some things was like, yeah, he was, he was, he was yelling some stuff about me being a foreigner and being there and Kassar, stuff. Kassar, Connor. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they only have like one insult. It's Kassar. Yeah, they always say that What's one. That? Just it's everything. It's like, like the, it's the catchall. It's like shit, asshole, okay, like okay. fucking I asshole. I know because Naruto says it a lot. Kassar. Oh, so you can say it in in kids shows. Uh, yeah. Well, anime is not for well. It's like fifteen year olds. Yeah, I guess so. Well, anime is not for kids. So well, uh, it's like for big cool well, adults. I wouldn't understand. Uh, there's the monsters. <laughs> um, actually, well, also Japan, you're an adult at fourteen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is news to me. The the, oh, the age oh, of consent. Oh, oh yeah. yeah well, Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, that's really fucked up. Yeah. Well, we're okay. not cool with that. You're Japan, so, <laughs> we're so, beefing. The yard in Japan are beefing because of that. It's it's pretty bad. Like Unless you, you, you let me in. When you go there and you, you see some of the stuff there, it is kind of like, whoa. I, d- I think pretty... it's fucked up. Like, I don't know. I've I saw always... some pretty oh. wild shit at a very normal bookstore, I have to say. <laughs> dude, what's crazy is he his phone, when he takes a picture, oh, yeah. It will do, do it, do it, do the, do the thing, do the thing, do so the thing. Even though it's I'm on like the lowest, I put all my volume to zero. If I take a picture, I... I always it makes a sound i can't because of the pervert yeah that's that's fucking crazy yeah because of the really what issue. the perverts because people oh. will take little pictures on trains of people under skirts yeah, yeah. and so they and now the phones will be like touching <laughs> the pervert yeah. trying to fart over his camera sound <laughs> <laughs> but like, you know, it, it, it literally doesn't matter because like on rush hour the trains are so packed where like it's it's so easy to do yeah and, uh, crazy. yeah it's called a, it's called a chicam and it just means like a pervert and this it's a really big problem it's really big. And oh. that's why they, on, during rush hour, they have girl only train carts. Right. Wait, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't realize it was that pervasive. I always figured it oh, was a thing so that bad. was like blown up because it's just like kind of a. No, no, it's, like it's a, as bad as people say it is. Is it's that why really having your phone out problem. in public transport is frowned upon or is that just like a privacy thing? Oh, uh, no, you can have your phone out. You can't call. Oh, okay. People do it though. Japanese people do it. But if, like, if I, yeah, if I did it, they'd probably, oh. so, someone would, I was someone getting would fucking Are you a gaijin if you fucking make that call, dude? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen Japanese people do it, but I'm, I'm too afraid to do it. Sure. I, don't I feel want, I don't so be bad. That guy. Every time we say, like, it, it's clear that we'll say something in response to you that you've heard a thousand times and you're like, Yes, honey. No, I'm sorry. I <laughs> no, I mean, it's like I've been doing it too. We, <laughs> we, we speak about it so much. So, like, I, I, it's, it's hard because, like, Japan is such an amazing place. But there is a lot of weird and fucked up shit. Like like any country, like any country it, it, it has yeah. its problems. There's like, you know, like um, uh, one thing that is like <laughs> commonly told that people like, they, they just don't believe it. And you d- it's hard to believe until you're there. But like- cheating- meat, lo- meat lotteries. Meat lo- <laughs> what? Oh, you don't know about it's, this one? Uh, okay, this never mind. Go, okay, go, 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 go. There's a like cheating culture is so bad in Japan. Cheating? Like, like, like cheating every, on your spouse? Everyone cheats. There. Really? Everyone cheats. That's so sad. Because like if you talk to a Japanese girl and- um. Sometimes they'll just be like, hey, uh, like, yeah, my boyfriend, he's allowed to sleep with anyone he wants as long as he just doesn't like have a relationship with them because they're like, it's just like him getting it out of his system. <laughs> is that hey, cheating or back. like polyamory, right? Or is there like a resentment? There? Well, they don't like it, but they're like, I don't they're think like, they would think they're like, the same thing. They're like, like, it's the man. He, you know, so they, you do uh, meet girls who are like this. It's really strange. It's so sad. They're like, I feel but girls 30 years too. behind. Girls do it too. Well, are there men in the culture who are like, yeah, sweetheart, you can go fuck whoever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're okay with that. S- Maybe not okay with it, but some people are. It's really weird because they, they have love hotels as well. Yeah. And those are mainly, yeah. that's why there's so much privacy. Like they cover your number plate when you drive in. And then when you go to the desk to check in, there's no one there. Is a it's love hotel automated. where prostitution occurs or is it you bring people to the love hotel Both. to have sex? Okay, I see. So love, you can, you take, you would take the prostitute there. Not that it's, I have done that, obviously. But, <laughs> but I like how here it's just fucking Motel Six with a oh broken God. ass laundry machine and a pool full of chlorine. But, but if you try and go with two guys, um, they they they'll stop you. Really? Yeah. So we did a video, me and Chris, uh, abroad in Japan, where we went and um, went to Osaka, and we went to go into these love hotels to review them. And even though it's all focused around privacy and you wouldn't see anyone, the moment we like went in the machine, we checked in, we got our money. As we go into the elevator, a few times, some dude would come running out. And we'd be like, no, 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 sorry, you can't, you can't. Wait, you can't. even in June? In June, yeah. <laughs> wow. Even in June. Even, wow, even Japan. In, even in June during Pride Month. Can you <laughs> believe that? That's fucked up. And it's illegal. <laughs> it's more fucked up, I guess, if it, oh, they're like June, they're like, 
And then July 1st hits, they're like, get him yeah. out. He's holding the Chick fil A. He's like, oh, yeah. I, I, I hate to do July this. Man. I hate to do this. It's illegal as well. Wasn't there like a big breakthrough recently? I thought Japan just legalized gay marriage or something no, like that. No, sir. It, oh, it's like, uh, this is so confusing because like loads of shit gets reported on about Japan and it's kind of like half true. It's like Japan got rid of the restriction that was there. Uh, like, because now in Japan, marriage is a thing that is between uh, you and the local government. So it's not like a, a, oh. a nationwide thing, uh, but there's still you still I think you still can't get married. Um, same sex. Did you marry a capybara? If you wanted to, really? Some, uh, someone married like a DS. Oh, uh, the sleep. Uh, the sleep. Yeah, well. Someone married a Nintendo DS. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's tight. Yeah, I do feel like all the news from Japan, especially it's America, is like really like bright, cheery, fun. Oh, check how cool and segoy oh, yeah. this is. We were talking about look at like, the mascots. I, I watch this guy named Paolo in Tokyo. <laughs> Who makes like really good videos to introduce a lot of things to Japan, but then he'll like cover like a darker subject and it'd be like, so today we're going to talk about the recycling in Japan. Now, there's actually a lot of problems with it, but that's for another video. <laughs> and like, he'll cover like some dark depraved he shit. Did, like, he did, did the one where he's like, the age of consent is 14 in Japan with this really happy voice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then Whoa. to close by, he'll be like, what's the age in your country? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, it'll be like, it was like top 10 bad things about Japan, but like, he's so cheery. And, he's doing the same. comment below if you think that's chill. <laughs> and it's like very clearly like not trying to tackle it in a serious way because yeah. it's like, but like still also at least acknowledging mm. that there are flaws with yeah. the country. That's uh, YouTube I, poison yeah. brain in my, yes. in my opinion. I, I, I love Japan, but uh, you know, I, I try for the, mainly for like the viewers and stuff. I always try to be like honest about how it, you know, it is like, I definitely love living there and I don't want to move anytime soon. But yeah, there's, uh, it's a country. It <laughs> is fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah. Weeb ass fans like, no, it's fucking perfect. Well, no, they, they, I think from the podcast, a lot of people are like, I was going to move to Japan, but after listening to the podcast, <laughs> I don't think I want to move anymore. I mean, <laughs> it's not like America's doing that much better these days. Yeah, but you, you, you like, okay, let's say you go to Japan to teach English, right? You, you're miserable. Like you get paid like- I've heard this a like lot, yeah. $7 an hour and you can't do anything fun because you're like, and you don't get to choose where you go. So like some people might get Tokyo. Sick, you're in Tokyo. Some people get sent so far into like the boonies and then you're broke as well. Oh, so you can't shit. leave. And so you're in the middle of nowhere and you're like, if you you're don't- alone. <laughs> if it, and some people take to it. Some people go there and they fucking love that. They're like, I love being so deeply immersed in this. But other people are like, this is just too much. Like, this is like a little too far away from everything. Yeah. It depends. It depends that's got to be the fat. If you, if you embrace that opportunity, oh, I imagine learn, that's the fastest you learn way to learn. so yeah. fast. Yeah. That's why Chris's Japanese is so good. Because he did, he did the jet program mm -hmm. before he started doing YouTube. He's, he's really good at Japanese. He, he won't admit it, but he is. He is actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you? He wants to go so bad. He wants to go for like a month. <laughs> I think a month is like a perfect amount of time. This is so much to do. That's we, a lot. I'm not trying to go on the North Korea tour, though. What's up? <laughs> right now, if you go to Japan, it's open and OTV is going, but you have to go on a specific tour. And then at 6 p.m., they shuttle you into your hotel and they say, all right, good night. And then you have to stay there until oh, the morning. I see oh, they, what you're uh, saying. They, they told me apparently they're allowed to leave. They I, are allowed yeah, to leave. I don't know, because I did like the quarantine hotel because I left last September and came back in and they were like, oh, you have to you have to stay in a quarantine hotel for three days and then stay in your home for another 11 and the quarantine hotel was miserable. Mm. There was like armed guards outside my Jesus door. Jesus Christ, it'll fuck around. No, and the, I couldn't open the window or anything. It was in a tiny, tiny hotel room. It was miserable. I it's like it. old boy. Yeah, yeah. Where you, I just yeah, remember and, that where he's just like, that's, a, it, that's a crazy. It, they put us in this hotel chain called Appa Hotel. And um, it's, it's a notorious hotel because it's very cheap. But you get like, you get everything you would need in a hotel room for like 30 bucks. It's amazing. But the, the hotel is notorious because the, the owner of the hotel is super racist. And oh. um and is a like a history uh, revisionist, so like really like bad stuff that Japan did. Uh, Japan like, didn't invade it, anywhere. Yeah, he's well, like I remember World War One. And when and if they did, they would have been great to those prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It's like it's like that. And they they had book. They used to have books right in these hotels that would come with them. That were basically like. Japan, it was essentially the same thing. It's like Japan was just doing what it needed to do in World War II. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> Japan didn't do anything bad. <laughs> the Russo-Japanese war has this yeah. big of volume because they want it. It's, it's like fucked up. And then the reason they removed it was because uh, China was like, we're not going. We're not going if you don't remove all of this stuff from the hotel, fair ass, which I is think. valid because yeah. it's like it was the stuff in this thing was awful. That's, it's really bad. And that's good of them because China's never done any sort of revision <laughs> in their in their fucking <laughs> educational material. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, Matt, when you said the North Korea route, you, you're saying there's just a lot of lock like strict rules. Yes. I Stringent. imagined that 
OTV had to travel through North Korea to <laughs> Japan. Mm -hmm. And then I had this like that'd be, that'd this, be intense. Yeah, this like this whole future where it's like Bros, we got a bust quarter jade out of the fucking <laughs> out of the gulag. Oh my, oh my god, Ludwig! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, there's blood in the streets. Oh my god. And Lily's <laughs> like, hey, what's up? So we're gonna have to get quarter jade out of the gulag. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's like zoomer and editing. And it's Broden who's sitting there, like, I'm not gonna tell you how to do it. <laughs> like, here, take the poster. <laughs> Michael is now a general the in the North Korean military. <laughs> yeah. Michael, yeah, he would end up next to Kim Jong Un, being like, I don't know how I got. <laughs> <laughs> I am now the second in charge. <laughs> like there's reviewing OTV their missiles. explores Dude. the DMZ. <laughs> Michael's just like, come on, let's just let's take another step. Take another Dude, step right near the DMZ. <laughs> Dude, Holy shit. I told Connor this. I haven't told you guys this, but uh so you know the gambling guy. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't. Oh. I haven't updated you, viewers. What's up, viewers? <laughs> so, it's about to get crazy. Uh, let's give a quick recap. There was a gambling guy I met in Las Vegas. He earned me quite a bit of money. He called me one day. I did a forty thousand dollar bet on a random tennis match. It won. I was owed a hundred and eight thousand dollars from that bet. I was waiting to get paid out because the guy who made the bet was like shocked by the results and didn't have the money. Uh, and then you sent me a tweet, which Zipper. I don't know if you can pull this up. Uh, but it was a tweet about the exact gambling guy and it was someone else and they were like, hey, met this guy in Vegas. Wasn't a celebrity? He super scammed me. No, no, okay. He's a I, poker player. So I sent, I sent Ludwig two things. One was a YouTuber explaining how they ran into this person and he, they scammed him and, and, and like... It's like some some YouTuber couple, and then there was a poker player that was like, "Yo, ran into that guy that's scamming everybody in an elevator after he ghosted me." This is you know funny, and uh, and he like took a picture of him, <laughs> which is really funny. So oh, he he had the WhatsApp conversation, so he has like the WhatsApp the WhatsApp screenshot uh -huh. right, and it's him texting. Can we say the guy's name? Yeah. Grayson. Yeah. He's Grayson. texting Sorry. Grayson. You, we and have this Grayson, guy, Sponge and he's Bob. Like, hey, hey, Grayson. Uh, <laughs> don't, say Grayson don't say Grayson Goss's full name, though. Okay, yeah, please don't. <laughs> right, yeah, right. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Wait, I wouldn't Grayson do that. Grayson Goss? Like, and, uh, I guess, I guess, I don't he's know. asking don't Grayson when he's going to get paid, and Grayson replies to him late and is like, yo, you have to believe me. I was beat up and mugged. I've had $12,000 stolen out of my wallet, and he yeah. sends a photo of him with bruises on oh, his face right. like stuff. a tinder swindler but yeah. like shitter and then he <laughs> and then um he quote retweets it after bumping into him in an elevator like two days after these texts guy doesn't have any bruises on his fucking face anymore oh. of course and uh so this guy said and grayson in the elevator apparently it was like i'm gonna get you paid i'm gonna get you paid yeah fuck off right <laughs> and uh we saw this on twitter and sent it to Ludwig, and it's like, oh, this is the same guy. Yeah, it's finally. Yeah, so his I number is disconnected. What I do, what I did right after I saw that tweet is I called him. Do, do, do. The number you are trying to reach has been deactivated. Oh, that was pretty good. God. And I was like, I was like, Fuck. it's just him doing the voice thing. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you told me you sent forty thousand dollars for your Bitcoin, I'm like, there's no way you're getting that back. I thought for sure I was. I, I actually believed totally in him believed too. I believe he ever pay anything back to you yes. over the course of the bets? Yeah. But okay. that, that's part of the scam. That, that is the scam. I got totally scammed and swindled. If you gave the guy like three grand and he gave you like 10 back, you'd be like, well, this guy's trustworthy. My, yeah. My, I mean, my theory is, and maybe this is dumb to say, but my theory is that he just has a pool of money that he borrowed from other people. He gives you, he doesn't ever bet your money. He gives it back to you and mm. says, I won your money. Well, what's weird is he, Ooh, he yeah, called the idea. tennis bet right. This is, like not, how, this is just how a Ponzi scheme works, right? But he knew the tennis bet, so he had some knowledge. Or maybe he's just like he 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 himself is gambling these funds. I don't know. There's there's ways to get in. They probably have a Discord where they say, "Yo, this is the current lie. Uh, use this on." <laughs> I your... just don't trust anyone that's like, "I'm gonna make you money." I'm just like, "All right." I think that's a good rule of thumb. I, I, yeah. If someone, why would the fuck would someone make you? Are money? you saying that I was a dumbass for this? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah, like to believe that's pretty. But I mean, hey, you got an amazing story out of good it. Good thing I didn't agree to be the mule, dude. Yeah. No, that would be funny. Oh yeah, my God. Even funnier. Do, do they even know about, about the, the mule? Did we talk about it the mule? It would have been funny. Yeah, oh, we talked about oh, it. Oh, XD, I lost 100K. So, so Lud, in a Lud wanted to give us 100K, me and Aiden, to go like take to LA, or sorry, take Vegas. to Las Vegas and give to the guy to, to gamble. And if we doubled it, he was going to give it to us for a down payment on a house because we're buying a house together. And we were at the time. And, uh, and, and glad he didn't we didn't want do to that. Do it. He, yeah, Thank he God. Thank God. Money. You were right.
Aiden was right. Oh, I was oh, wrong. You were going to give this guy 200K? Right uh, 100K. 100K. What? Instead, I only gave him 40. <laughs> Bullet dodged. <Yeah. laughs> I can't believe yeah. this. Yeah, it was. It's. It is. It is sad. And so, Grace and I will find you. Yeah. Imagine if you put that in like the S and P index or something exciting like yeah, that. It would go the down. Dream S and P index. Yeah, the stock say. market yeah. went down. No, you yeah, it, it would go down. Years, would you know go. what? Imagine if I had done what you said and put it in crypto. Crypto. Oh, I'm Grimdo. sorry. Did I? Um, are you not? Are do you have papy hands, dude? Well, I gave actually all my crypto to Grayson. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. That's one way to get. I don't out fuck of with there. crypto. Yeah. Hey, me, me either. I just, uh, I don't know. It's a lot of effort. Wait, what do you think about Fair NFTs, enough. though? Fucking hate NFTs. Brave. <laughs> Such a bold Someone statement. Someone said it. <laughs> who, who the fuck likes NFTs? Dr. Still? Disrespect. Does he really? Dude, you didn't uh, go to God. NFT NYC oh, his game with NFT. last week? Oh, yeah, his game. I just, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I fucking hate NFTs. Dude, this is a dangerous color of croc because I want to eat it. That's it so looks like a really delicious like flavor. Obviously That's not. such a you thing. It looks flavored like Ludwig's just... foot. No, no, no. Okay, the color and the cleanliness of this crock reminds me of mint ice cream, and I just this is what a dog it. does. Like yeah, how it thinks. yeah, yeah. You guys, I, I feel like I'm not crazy here. Yeah, and I'm being no. This is the craziest. Yeah, you've this is good. They look really what a wild. Guy, <laughs> talking about eating shoes. They look. Dude. I'm just saying they look good. I'm not like I would eat them, but they look like they would be good. Oh no, yeah, for sure. Connor, just get there. Do you know? Do you know who Colin and Samir are? Oh uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, so you know how they just they have their podcast yeah, where they, they talk, talk to yeah. interview content creators and things like that. Do you know what the daily is? Uh, what is the daily? The daily is like one of the most popular podcasts that there is. It's like a oh. news podcast by the New York Times. No, I don't know about this. Now. Yeah, so I think collectively that we we all listen to the daily pretty frequently. Oh, really? Yeah, mm. and we make fun of the guy Together. who's the host. It gets a few I, million I, daily hits, and it's I like a good way to get listen up to any podcasts. Really? At all? Me neither. No, no, not at all. I also don't listen to Daily Just Empty. I listen for news to yeah, know what's going on great. in the world. It's a really good podcast. And uh, the other, like the episode from a few days ago, they run ads mm. uh, here and there. And uh, I'm listening to some guy talk through and they're like, we interview like content creators and break down this like rare field no of way. like rare field of work for those who don't understand it. It can be they're like advertising confusing themselves. On and, and there's like, it's the Colin and Samir podcast. And the whole thing is about educating the populace about like how to be a content creator. Basically, that's the presentation of the ad. And I'm listening to this. And I'm like, these are the guys that interviewed my roommate <laughs> and they're advertising to me in yeah. my car right now yeah. to learn how to be ludwig yeah that's so funny do you think that's what they do it or they, like they must be paying that, for those that, ads. no no yeah it, it, is that podcast intended to teach people how to be content creators or is that just what the ad is like trying to hook you that's how they're marketing it at least that's it's like up. it's how they're to better to understand a, uh, content creation and how to potentially yeah. work in this space i don't I don't think it's fucked up because it's free the fucked up thing is when jake paul did a class that you could buy and it'd be oh, like i i just think all those are scams no, that's yeah based. I, that's based why is that based, based with the free because version you're scamming fuck- hopeful kids oh, and that's, that's what yeah, la yeah, and that's that right, is kind based okay now when you put it like that that's pretty bad that's what this whole fucking town is it's like come here and you'll make it and then you become a slaughtered hopeful and you're 40 years old working a boom yeah. you never did anything in your fucking life I, i've never met anyone <laughs> hey, who's well. taken one of those classes as, as becoming a, a boom is hard <laughs> yeah you, everyone I've, I've who's taken them, them who's oh, successful is just making fun of them like drew yeah Gooden. have you ever met anyone who's taken one of those classes and, and <laughs> it's like imagine. oh by the way i got my start from watching uh the uh, austin jones uh, austin mcbroom sorry austin jones is the fucking uh pedophile yeah. you're <laughs> wrong <laughs> I'm sorry. so like well, i started hanging around schools <laughs> like, <laughs> like austin you should hear what the kids had to say you're all gonna be fucking sorry when the next big streamer in like three years is going to be like, yeah, so I bought Ninja's Masterclass. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is that people don't watch YouTube and then they get to the age of 20 and they're like, yo, this YouTube thing's like popping off. I should like get on that. And it's like the people who've been watching YouTube their whole life are the ones who are like become the successful YouTubers because mm-hmm. they, they kind of understand the scene a bit more and you just can't learn the culture in a, in a fucking class. Yeah, you you got to sit there and fucking absorb it yeah, forever just, and yeah. ever and ever. <laughs> you got to love it. I, I, I think you genuinely have to love it. You I can't think. have YouTube without you. Whoa. This definitely happens with anything. This happened with esports all the time. Yeah, we yeah. used to work in esports events, right? And companies with big money and some dude who's the fucking 65 year old who approves marketing spend at Chipotle yeah. is like, what if we did e gaming? Yeah. And, and then like, they throw a million dollars at a Fortnite tournament that runs like shit because they it, like it has to be this way and then it doesn't yeah, turn out yeah, well. Yeah. And it's because they've never touched a fucking video game in their life. Yeah. I feel like the formula is also not secret, you know? Like how to be successful. It's no. just learning it. 
Also, Mr. like Mr. Collab. Beast said, he Speak tells good, everybody it? how to do it. Tobuscus knows how to do it. <laughs> my, my goat. <laughs> Dude, hold on, hold on. You're yeah. making a joke right now, and I thought I, at first I was like, "Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is Tobuscus up to?" And then I looked at his views on his last three videos, and his one with Kyle Rittenhouse is like 10x all of his other written yeah, recent it's 10K videos. Yeah, 10k versus 1k. <laughs> no, it's like 250k, and his he, other videos get like five. He's a former huge YouTuber, one of the biggest. Uh, he had a couple million subscribers. He's known for a song that he made called uh, "Nugget in a Biscuit." Biscuit and a on Diamond Sword. Diamond Sword. Look, right. yeah, he was yeah. just a big gaming YouTuber. He <laughs> played Happy Fuck, Wheels so a bunch. Chill. His God, he's just like me for real, dude. He's uh, just like a me. weird fucking voice all the time, and now you nobody watches him anymore. Hate it. Is it like Ray William Johnson? No, that's that's kind of, that in, era, in terms but. of trajectory of career, yes. That and I, I only know because two of the Lud Buds, the Deep Lud Buds, keep they have a meme that just says "Get Ray, Ray William Johnson on the reeds." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just really that was fun. punch. And then, uh, and then he dropped a collab, and it, the collab was I met Kyle Rittenhouse, and it's a 15 minute video of him <laughs> in his car in a parking lot talking about how I met Kyle Rittenhouse. And then he would say like weird jokes, be like, Haha, they want to steal our guns." Not really though. I don't actually think that. And it was it was like almost That's like so a, funny, like a manic moment that he just broadcasted. Uh, Wait, was Kyle Rittenhouse in the video? Not yeah. once. Dude, oh, no oh, he wasn't. Way. That's so I didn't funny. watch it because that that means he only. It's just the Insta post, like that photo, and yeah. that's it. Then he just met him. I feel bad. He's just gone off the rails. He has gone off the rails. Oh, Crazy. Fuck. Well, it's good to know where I'll be though in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see a Ludwig video that gets five k views. Ooh, that'd be. Oh, it's coming. That'd be hype. No matter of when. Because you'll are, you'll you'll be fine. The problem we put, we put enough away for him. It's He'll like be okay. it's like yeah yeah maybe he's like irrelevant in terms of his content now, but he p hit it so big when the YouTube ad oh, money yeah. was so oh, good. Yeah. Oh it's yeah. It's like dude, he was posting twenty minute Happy Wheels let's plays when ad pre PewDiePie era ad revenue. Oh, yeah. Like he's he's like he may as well be a billionaire. Like <laughs> that's hype. Yeah. <laughs> That's like getting yeah yeah. Fuck. And that it's makes like sigh. maybe maybe mm -hmm. we're all making fun of him on Twitter for you know making you know posting a photo with Kyle Rittenhouse and Nerf guns, but he does he does have ten million dollars. But ten million dollars won't make you happy. That is that true. Is true. I would be happier with ten million. I would, I would be happier. I actually <laughs> think it. Everyone would be happier with ten mil. <laughs> I don't think. Okay. I don't Cross see. The board. Isn't this like a studied phenomena? It's like your happiness scales with money up until like a certain dollar amount, and then it doesn't matter. Like, yeah, minus million ten million. Something. Yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Like until you can pay for, uh, if you can comfortably pay for all your bills in your life, I feel like that's the point where yeah, the money. Just, then it stops mattering. Yeah, it doesn't you know getting a hot tub doesn't enhance my life much. Yeah, well, because yeah, you, you have the you own set of the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's better than mine. Reason. Mine would. My hot tub would. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It, Oh, on sense of because there would always be hot models in it and oh, monkeys, oh, okay. hot models and monkeys and, mon and, and monkeys, monkeys and models. I wouldn't sorry, even I, be in I, it. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. I feel no, weird. no, you're fine. I do like the idea of thinking about monkeys that are famous and well, that smoking corn cob yeah, pipes. You know, there's models. like a, this monkey. Uh, no one, no one talks about this because it's no, no one wants to get cancelled. Um, uh, oh, I like shit. the videos. There's there's a cafe you can go to where monkeys serve you in Japan. Really? No one makes a video because you can't make a video about that. Because it's be like, like animal cruelty? Yeah. Well, there's so much horrible shit like that in Japan. Where like animals are definitely in places they shouldn't be. They, Do they like, like it? Are they smiling? Are the monkeys paid <laughs> a living wage? I, 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 can, I, can I like play with oh, a monkey? Oh no. What the fuck? Yeah, Holy shit. They bring, okay, out, they hold bring on. out beer. That fit goes crazy though. Yeah. <laughs> you see his fucking checkered that's shirt? That's good threads. But there's, there's other animals as well. There's like, uh, fuck, there's like, they, they make owls through these cafes and owls are Wait, uh, they nocturnal. serve you? No, 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 they're just in there. Oh, they're in there. But, but they're all drops the Asahi bottle. <laughs> yeah. but, like, it's cool because, like, they're awake during the day. Dude, you're getting delivered but they beers be. by an yeah, owl owls, with owls bloodshot eyes because he hasn't <laughs> slept in five days. He hasn't eaten He's any food. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am getting too old. He's lifting up his fucking feet to smoke the cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> like, hedgehogs as well. They have hedgehog cafes. And hedgehogs are nocturnal as well, but they make them fucking walk around oh, during the day. Why can't you just sad. do a Dark Side of Japan video where for it's like an hour special? No, you just go to pray. Shit. Fuck, that's because you don't want to be the one. You're, yeah, hurt, you're yeah, ultimately then encouraging Because they're going to take his residency permit, dude. Do you, think, do you think that would happen? I sometimes I do get worried about doing certain things that I'm like, I don't want to show too much bad side of Japan because I, I don't want the government to be like, hey, will you fucking stop? <laughs> hey, just stop. <laughs> like, you're also going to another country as somebody else and being, hey, look how sh shit's fucked how up. How dog here. shit it is. Well, just because, yeah. like, it's you know. A, I don't know. I think there is a fine line to walk as like a Western person depicting Japan 
It's like you don't want to make it this no, rosy, yeah, fucking well, beautiful I, place. And you don't want to make it like this evil part it, place either. In all my videos, I really, really try my best because my main channel videos are normally me doing something in Japan. My main goal is to just like, when I go in, I'm, I just don't want to insult the person who's giving me their time because all my videos, I the one thing that I have that I always want to do in, in videos, I want to be involved in either doing their job or I want to help them do their job. So like, you know, uh, I, I did a thing where I worked in a strip club and I performed at the strip club and what, did, did it. Is that the one that you got in trouble for? Uh, that was one where, no, that was a different one. I went to strip club twice for videos. So you're I, just trying to, you're trying to go to yeah, strip club. I, I, you, you just say you no, want no, to go to no, 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 no. say you I want did, to get your nut out. I, I, did, I, I did a pole dancing video and then the dude really liked how the video turned out and he was like, hey, I do these shows like twice a year. Do you want to perform in one of the shows? And I was like, no. But then my, fr <laughs> my friend was like, you should do it. You should do it. And I was like, I hey, feel like I can film it, but I don't know. You're, as long as you're not putting fish on taxis and throwing pokeballs at Japanese people. No, I would people. never do anything like that. And, and even if I... This is, not, if, this is not me making a joke, by no, the way. Know, Logan yeah. Paul did this. That's, yeah, that was yeah. fucked up. Like, I think that's just blatant disrespect. Like, I, I uh, hired a rental family. Um, you know you can do this? Oh, yeah, I heard about okay, this. Okay, no, you yeah. can't say that's blatant disrespect and then say you rented a family. No, no, no this it's is like it's a, it's a thing. No, it's, it's a, a service. Yeah, it's a, this it's is, a, it's a it's, genuine it's service. Uh, it's the same dude that Conan rented from. I spoke to that guy and we, we rented a family. and um, Same family? Uh, different family. Mm. But the same owner was there and I got to speak to him. Oh, so someone owns the family. Like, well, he, like do you a, see how what, there's a problem are they here? Called like a master, or like what are they? It's, what called, are they it's called. It's called. Well, I think the company's called Family Romance, and the two, the CEO is a. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, feel it's like called <laughs> fuck my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's called incest is impossible. <laughs> um, the, the guy's really fucking nice, and we spoke to him, and you know, I, you know, you do ask like why? Like this is kind of strange. Like why do you think this is only a Japan thing? And the dude is super aware. Like he knows that like Japan is kind of weird about why because the reason why they rent these families was just really morbid um like a lot of the time if somebody cheats on someone in japan i, I mentioned the cheating is a big thing um sometimes the person who got cheated on wants to have the person apologize so like let's say you cheated and cutie's like bring the woman to me so i can talk to her right this is like a thing i don't know why um and so people would rent these fake girlfriends to come and be the one who gets berated because oh. they don't want to actually subject oh. the random person. So they'd, they'd be like, oh, I fuck this girl for real. They're like, like dude, this oh. is her. Dude, her Go play, easy her on her. Game was crazy, Go but she's easy, really emotional. Dude. And then they would just take it. And yeah, then and it's then just they double actress who's like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and crazy. they double back and they cheat on her with the actress. The yeah. <laughs> it's really depressing shit. Like you'd hear this and then another one was like, there was the mom and she, uh, she explained to me that uh, often sometimes uh, the guy might ask the woman like, He'd be like, can I ask your parents for permission to marry you or can I have permission to move in with you? And they would have to ask the parents. And sometimes they didn't want to actually like have them ask the parents because they didn't want to move in. Oh, shit. So, so like, they would hire a yeah. fake mom to be the mom. To uh, say no? Yeah, to, to say Dude, no. Dude, that's some pussy shit. That was me in but ninth that's what grade. They do. That's how they, that's like kind of like in Japan. Um, it's, you know, it's just how it is. Like, I don't think it's good or bad, but uh, they don't like confrontation at all. That's like when high schoolers ask someone to break up yeah. with someone for yeah. them. So yeah. it's, it's like a kind of way of everyone gets their happy kind <laughs> wow. of outcome. Wow, interesting. I, I <laughs> just, like, so my but, mom said I can't. Like, I really want to move It's like, like, hey, can you come to the trash out? I'm like, oh, uh, it's like uh, a black family comes in. So, sorry, this is my family. Uh, we have Thanksgiving dinner yeah, in August. Right. You know, and, and I'm, I'm sitting, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, this is, you know, I, I, I'm like, this is kind of fucked up. Like, this is yeah. weird. Like, this is not healthy right. in any any capacity. Do you, do you but have, it's become an industry, so, so it's fine. But like, it's about kind of talking, and I, I, I'm not trying to disrespect the person who's doing it. I'm like, this is your job, and you take it very seriously, and I'm not trying to give you any disrespect, but. I, I try to talk to them about like the implications of like how that affects like the society and Japanese and what it means about like Japanese life. And so it's, I think it's trying to strike that balance. Yeah, I, I really try good. my best I think not you, to. I think you have a genuine understanding of being a good person. I yeah, think. And, yeah. And that's nice to hear. I would never mock anyone who's willing to show me what they do and trying to teach me. I feel like that would just be so rude. But there are times when you're in the video where something's happening, you're like, this is fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> plenty of times, plenty of times. You're just like Mike Rowe, but for Japan. What's, what's Mike Rowe? He did Dirty Jobs, a show where he would do random people's jobs in America, usually mm. dirty jobs that yeah. were filthy. 
but you do that jobs and instead of butt. that you're doing strip clubs and serving <laughs> anything yeah tea. like i worked in um i don't know if i've done some of my shit but in like a cross-dressing cafe got like all the fit what's uh, what, what's dirty jobs in japanese like how do you say it <laughs> yeah no i'm not asking you no i'm, I'm dirty job. Wait, like what is dirty jobs like a dirty job well what is a dirty it's kind job? of like, slang for like like a job you really don't want to do like cleaning the bullshit out of a bull's shit. I don't think they have like a word for it. It's a TV show here. Because in Japan it's like they take jobs super seriously. Like yeah. people people have There's like There's no, no shame in being yeah, a janitor. They're Japan. like they're like I do my work and I do it like crazy. It's it's no I just want to know how you say it. But you don't, don't know. know that. Well dirty is like All you know is Dirty is like kitanai. Huh? Dirty is kitanai. Okay. And job is shigoto. So it could be like kitanai shigoto. Micro He's my girl, baby. Yeah, Keith and I should go through. That's my new brand. Do you, do you guys get um, recognized in Japan? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. Is it really, infrequent or is it frequent? It's it's weird. I've had like I would go like months without getting recognized, and then maybe like one day I will get like five. Oh, so wow, it's okay. kind of yeah. it's kind of uh, strange. Because usually by gaijins. Yeah, well, I, when you when I see another white person, I'm kind of like, there's a very yeah. very high chance they've watched either like Chris's videos right. or my videos. Because, yeah. you know, you go to Japan, you're like, oh, I want to, what's the, it's what, the, what, it's where the should I go look? Yeah. Where, where, where should I country. go look? You know, like you research it. So there's, a, you know, there's um, a lot of the time it does happen. It's normally students. Students recognize me. Do you yeah. have like a most, because I feel like Japan is definitely a country that gets romanticized a lot. Oh, God, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there something that you were most disillusioned by when you moved there? Like something that is completely different from the way you imagined it? I, I knew that, like, obviously getting, uh, like, living in another country would be hard. But the sheer amount of paperwork you have to do, just daily life in Japan, is just insane. It's intense. Dude, what? Uh, one insane Everything. thing I learned about, like, Japan is, like, the only modern nation that still uses faxing for, like, yeah. everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they tried to get rid of it. They were People like, rioted. fax yeah. is stupid. Why do we do this anymore? And then the fax lobby successfully <laughs> overturned the the litigate, I mean, like the law to get rid of faxing. It's, it's, crazy. it's better <laughs> than here. If, I'd rather have a fax lobbyist than gun lobbyists <laughs> and abortion yeah. lobbyists. Yeah. yeah. If they were taking the fax machines over the yeah, guns. If they were storming and being like, bring back the fax. I'm like, all right. That's <laughs> Everyone's true. fax machines are like getting sent butts <laughs> <laughs> all day. And it's like, this won't stop. Dude, you guys, you guys might not know about this because like, I, I don't know, maybe it's a generation thing. Maybe it's not that crazy, but you could get fax machine ads on your fax machine because my mom had one. Wait, on like the LCD or like? No, like, no. They would print out that's ads. That's fucked. So you get like <laughs> ads for a cruise ship and it's like a fucking scam because they, they have your number and it what? went to a database. Using your ink? Yeah, and it, your That's shit would just print up. out something from a random number, and it would just be an ad. It was actually crazy now that I think about don't it. Don't you have to what accept faxes? You can, like, probably set it to not accept certain numbers, but if you, sure. you know. We used to, like, this is probably the most boomer thing about me. We used to have, like, an office in my house I grew up in, and mm. uh, we used to just type in random phone numbers with yeah. our area code and then send our butt. That's great. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. what I should have done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to get kid? it out of your system. Yeah. That's I was, weird. I was a kid. You're no, sending not... adults kid butt. Yeah, so I'm making them pedophiles. <laughs> Got ya. And then you send them another fax being like, you are a pedophile, yeah. the police are coming. <laughs> <laughs> you're minting pedophiles. <laughs> that was the first NFTs, yeah. Yeah, it was 10K, 10K pedophiles <laughs> in Orange County. Just sending them like Mike's hot lemonade. Calling the, like, lo <laughs> the local PD, like, I have a lead for you. <laughs> <laughs> there might be kid butt on this person's fax machine. <laughs> Show up quick. Oh my God. It's what like, they're, they're at the cops at their house and like a butt comes in. They're like, is that a kid butt? They're like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> another one comes in, that was a kid butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am a kid. This was my. This butt. is the fact confirming it was a kid butt. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's your? Who's your favorite favorite YouTube channel or YouTuber ever? Mine. Ever. Fuck. Oh my god. I have a soft spot for like review bra. I love review bra. Really? really? I fucking love his videos. Whoa. The goat. Uh, um, my favorite YouTube channel ever. I uh, maybe like Frederick Knudsen. I love his down the rabbit hole videos. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You know down the rabbit it. hole? I don't know, I've never heard of this in my life. What? It's like uh, he does like the documentaries about random shit. He did one about Wings of Redemption that was like two oh, hours long. Oh, you know what? I think I have seen Ooh, that. I've I think seen I've it. seen Wait. only the Wings video. Type in uh, Down the Rabbit Hole. I've definitely seen the. It's, he, called, it's called Down the Rabbit Hole. Yeah. Wings his of Redemption, name is right? Frederick Knudsen. That's the YouTube channel name, but the series is called Down the Rabbit Hole, and it's the only thing that Dude, crazy. holy shit. His Wings of Redemption one has eight million views, it's, and it's, it's two hours amazing. long. That video is crazy. Yeah, you you click on it, and you're like, I don't give a fuck about this. And you, then you watch five minutes, you're like, oh my God. Oh my He's God. what Sony V2 should be. 
It's, oh, it's okay. like Sonny V2 if he was way too thorough and like, like or, went over or like just everything. thorough. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was going to say, <laughs> Sonny V2 if he put in any effort at all. Uh. <laughs> I fucking hate the, the downfall videos that are a big trend now because everyone's doing it. Yeah. And it's like, it's like someone remotely even fell off a little bit and they're like, and then he just the, fell off. And that's da- it. That's the literally The downfall it. of Ninja. And it's like, Ninja has 20,000 people watching him right now. It also <laughs> only picks people who still pull views. Like, yeah. you're not going up like the downfall of Charles Trippy. And it's like, oh, fuck. Like, if care. someone like, went to prison or did something fucked up, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a downfall. But if someone's just like, he's not, yeah, he quit. It's like, how is that a downfall? And after 11 years, yeah. Epic Meal Time stopped getting views. <laughs> yeah, so he stopped making <laughs> videos. How is that strips. a downfall? After an extremely Dude, successful also, run. He did one about Mr. Bro. Well, which is Mr. Beast's brother's channel, yeah. which was kind of a huge failure because it tried to copy one for one what Mr. Beast did and also branded itself as Mr. Bro, yeah. which is weird. Yeah. And uh, and so he did the video. I'm Mr. Beast's brother. But uh, but he like, Jimmy kind of like gave him some advice as he does to random people. And so he like hit him up before. He's like, is it cool if I make this video? Jimmy's like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Do whatever you want. But the video is so soft. Like you can tell he was really worried mm. about making Mr. Beast upset. So he was like, Mr. Bro then did this, which isn't that big of a deal, honestly. It's not even that big of a oh, problem. That's oh, that's yeah, He's like kind of like walking it back. Ooh, he's like, he doesn't want Jimmy to, to fucking to give him some credit. To give him some credit, it, like what was he supposed to do? But as soon as <laughs> as soon as Jimmy dips down to like twenty million views a video, he's coming. Yeah. It's, oh, dude. Uh, yeah. Sony V2 has it ready. He has like 18 videos from Mr. Beast downfall <laughs> ready. I, I, I don't know. It's like morbid about celebrating like the. the oh, it is. Someone's downfall. In but life. it also got me to click because I, I clicked yeah. on those videos and I'm like, this is interesting. And I watched a couple of them and I sent them to Ludwig and I was like, what do you think of these? Because I am like a child with a Play Doh mind mm. and I need. I need my dad to tell me if this is a good thing or a bad thing in the world. And he was like, oh, I fucking hate this guy because, you know, all these reasons. Like, yeah. The reason why you're both saying it's like, it's just. Th- 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 there's a lot of people I think it's valid and you can make this thing because mm-hmm. they did some really fucked up stuff and they lost their audience. So I'm like, that's. But they that only, makes sense. only so many of those exist. Yeah, so you right. have to expand to just people who don't have views. Yeah. So that that's where they're all coming in now. And there's a lot of other channels that do it. But I, have you ever like, because I don't know, because you, you haven't been around like super, super long, right? I yeah. mean, how many years have you Four been around? I guess quite, quite long. Have you ever been friends with a creator who has like actually fallen off? Dude, I will call me Carson. Like, when you no, he not fallen like fallen off like in views, not because they were I, call me Carson. But, I mean, they're both. Yeah, I do think I, it's a bit different. I, I, I had like, like a, kind of the same. a friend who like because call me Carson can still get views. No. It's it's we still, you still get some right. I had a friend who like, can't get anything, and it was hard watching. Like it was the it was really struggling. Was it for with it. a reason, or was it because Just the content wasn't like it wasn't changing with the times, okay. and it didn't really make you don't sense? Have to call out Chris Brown. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> yeah, Chris is right. I don't name names because, like, you know, I don't want to you know, yeah. add yeah. salt to the wound. But like, you know, it was really hard watching. Like, because it yeah. was like someone's kind of life just falling apart. Like, yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, like, it's a weird. Sh- it's probably a weird thing too. Like, presumably they did it for years. Yeah, they were doing it for right? years. They built their whole life around it. And then all mortgages. of a sudden, you just have to you've you have to go back to the normal world, and you've sort of lost that all of those years in terms of experience that oh, would yeah, have applied yeah, 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 to yeah. like a field or study or, or anything that you would have pursued otherwise. Yeah, there's there's some stories, but I'll, I'll tell you guys off. off Dude, the re- the resume's got to go crazy because it's like. <laughs> McDonald's 2011 to 2012. <laughs> yeah. YouTube 2013 to 2020. <laughs> and they're applying for like manager at Taco Bell or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Is there like a, uh, I guess, what do you call it? Fuck. I lost my train of thought. I was looking at your delicious Crocs again. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> Dude, you gotta just take a bite. Just stop looking. Just take a bite and get it over. Just look like Because then you'll know what it's like. Have a bite. Have a bite. Have a little nibble. Just look at it. Have a bite. Have a nom nom. Have a nom. If you want I'm biting. No, don't. Have a little nom nom for daddy. Okay, to the camera. To the Show the camera that you're having a bite. Is it yummy? Why are you biting it? Is it yummy? Do you want to do it again? Yeah, because it's rubber. Why are you being peer pressured? Why are you being peer pressured by him? Because that's how our friendship works. Oh, okay. It is actually kind of Really? Helpful. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tasty grum. It's just rubber. It tastes Yum. like blue. And, and so that's actually the national dish of whales. <laughs> <laughs> it's just leek. So I rot done dunking on it. Eat your rubber. We were in a, we were in Vegas on Friday yeah. for like a day. Yeah. Uh, I guess Anthony was there a little, there longer. A little longer. But we were there just, just for like a work thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I was leaving. Uh, to go to my flight and I was in the elevator and a group of people walk in with me four of them they're all English and they're all they're all talking in English accents I can't really tell where from Mm. I just can tell it's like from the UK right and then 
we go down a few floors and then a group of six very drunk Irish people <laughs> get, get into the elevator. So it's me and 11 people from the UK and Ireland. And the Irish people have are super drunk and have really thick accents. Yeah. So I can't actually understand what they're saying <laughs> to each other. And they start talking with the with the people from England, and I can understand what the people from England are saying. Mm. And uh, the Irish people, they're just like da 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 da. And then the only thing I can make out is like they keep talking to each other, and then occasionally the words Shania Twain come out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like the uh, Austin Powers bit with his dad. Yeah, it's Where exactly it's like, like that. It's exactly like <laughs> that. Chat on a turtle. <laughs> and they're like miming dances like Shania was at the concert. But then all the context in between, I'm like, what the fuck are they saying? No, they like, were talking about the new parliament decision that happened <laughs> yeah, <laughs> earlier <laughs> on. Are you serious? <laughs> I mean, maybe they were just speaking Gaelic and throwing in Sh Shania Twain. But it definitely wasn't Gaelic. <laughs> I was watching VCT Japan because they had the finals. Dude, that event was crazy, by it the way. It was crazy. Yeah. 20K people in person, but you watch in like... Japanese has so much English in it that like I'm not understanding a word they're speaking Japanese Dude. and then they'll just be like Cypher be Saitu and, and it's like it's just the English words but with Japanese accent Dude. and I'm like I think I know that, one. that actually yeah, reminds yeah, exactly. me there's, there's this uh, there's this video from like a couple years ago of uh, Dogen and he hmm. Dogen does like Dogen. accent reviews yep. of Friends other of Dogen, like yeah. Japanese speakers Dogen, and he Fyler. makes he makes like a <laughs> funny he's making like a funny version of one of those videos about Joey no, oh, and yeah, yeah. he's talking about Joey's Japanese accent, which is like just Joey was just born speaking Japanese. Yeah. So he's like, actually, and he's speaking in Japanese the whole time with subtitles. And he's like, actually, Joey, your accent has a bit of a problem here. You're using too many real Japanese words. You're going to want to mix in <laughs> English here, English here. It's like, <laughs> yeah. like a real Japanese person does. There's a lot of memes about like within Japanese, like Twitter and stuff about how Englishized like Japanese is becoming. Because uh, they just, I don't know, they just use, like, they didn't used to call it, like, uh, to, uh, it's called toire, you can say, in a lot yeah. of places, but they didn't used to say that. It, it used to just be, like, otearai, and then now it's, like, what everyone says toire. What the fuck do either of those mean? Otearai is toilet. But the, it's, like, a fancy way of saying toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, and then, like, coffee is, like, just kohi. Kohi. Dude, and then, like, I, I there's this. some places, some places, you know, milk is traditionally, like, uh, just pronounced, like, gunyu. And, uh, and then now, in a lot of coffee places, it's, like, ah, oh, miruku. Yeah, just, dude, I, mean, I, I, I heat checked him because I in college I watched a shitload of uh of like like Asian films because yeah. they were all on Netflix. That's what we're calling them. Well, <laughs> they were all on Netflix for the time, and it was like, <laughs> oh, 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 I see what you did. Yeah, you like, sneaky uh, little bear. Asian cinema, it's like <laughs> they're, they're, they're like two hours long. Yeah. It's like three scenes. You yeah. know. There was this movie called Outrage, and it the the Japanese title is Outrage, yeah. or something like that. And I asked a lot if he's seen it because he doesn't watch actual movies; he just watches anime. He's a child. I was like, oh, you that's seen, not true. You ever see Outrage? And he's like, "What's that?" It's like it's Outrage. He's like, "Yeah, but what's the Japanese name?" And I was like, "I just said it. It's Outrage, uh, pronounced in Japanese." The way they say it, and then he was like, "No, it's not." And he looked it up, and he looked like the dumbest motherfucker. Can, in the uh, can you pull up the Japanese names for Fast and Furious? They're really funny. The Japanese Dom cinema, Toretto. Uh, the Fast no, and the Furious actual, series. like title series. It's it, it's, oh. it's called something really funny in Japanese. I can't remember. Zipper? What it's, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> Is it on it? You leave Zipper alone. Sorry, am I allowed to as the guest? But pull that up. Absolutely, pull that yeah, up. absolutely. Pull it up. I actually like that. <laughs> it's 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 something really fucking funny. I can't remember. It's it makes like they they, they do this sometimes. I don't know why. I think when the word is too hard. At, like to say in Japanese, like fast on the furious. It's kind of like a little bit of furious is tough. Yeah, um, it's called yeah wild, wild speed. speed. Yeah, so wild, sick, dude, wild that speed. is so sick. This is wild hard. speed max. Wild speed mega max. This is like a game at the arcade. Fast and Furious Six is called Wild Speed Euro Mission. <laughs> dude, these are so sick. Dude, like wild, wild speed sky awesome. mission. Yeah. Wild speed ice break. Dude, is my the favorite. last one. Wild super speed combo. super combo. <laughs> yeah. on this. They just like fucking give up. They're like, I don't fucking know. It does look like an FGC title that. Yeah, <laughs> it, like I don't know why they choose it. It's really strange. I watched one IRL movie, Japanese movie. I think have I told you about it, Tampopo? You did tell oh, me about it. Yeah. IRL movie. Yeah. yeah, it's not anime. Yeah, no, 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 we get it. Holy That's shit, <laughs> you are you have brain rot. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, if you guys happen to watch it on a plane, beware the credits sequence. <laughs> It was terrifying on a plane. Yeah. I told you about this, right? Yeah, yeah, the the credit this. sequence was two minutes un in uninterrupted of a slow zoom in on a child breastfeeding on her mother. <laughs> and it was just that, and it kept going on this plane. Zipper, can you pull it up real quick? <laughs> 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 it was just that shot, and I was like, is this artistic or... 
I love I love the plane is probably the least dignified place to watch art is like yeah, on a little screen yeah. in front of you uh-huh. and you're just trying to like take in something I'm beautiful. I'm middle seat too. I'm yeah. middle seat. And it's just like, you know, you're not in a theater like sharing an experience. <laughs> you're you're like, watching with your cupped hands. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, oh, I, ha- I actually had this moment watching, I had some downloaded YouTube videos on my phone while I was flying like a, a week ago and I had some of the most recent Channel 5 videos that I wanted to watch. Oh, hell yeah. And he's at the fucking Daytona Bike Week or whatever and I'm watching like two almost naked girls wrestle in coleslaw. <laughs> and I'm like, it's but I'm so in gross. between two people, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll save this one for later, dude. What's it's it? Like, what's it called? Is it like a joke? Like so I can make fun of it? Dude, what's yeah, yeah, called? It same with anime yeah, it's called well. Daytona Bike Week. <laughs> same with anime. You can, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Anime is honestly worse. Yeah, I yeah. I just kind of you, look. I'm I just, not I just cap, roll with it. You're a handsome guy. You're tall. You're charming. You got a yeah. voice mm-hmm. that's deep like champagne. You know, <laughs> I'm 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 someone next to you on a plane. And I'm like, hey. You know, this guy, this seems nice to be, you know, like a, you know, and then, and I see you fucking looking on your phone. Giant titties. Just like fucking, <laughs> it's fucking bouncing titties. It's just I, a dude like jerking off over a comatose girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, that if, it, I mean, if you should know that's art, right? That's it, Evangelion. It, 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 in Japan, it's, it's super art. normal. People, people just like scroll through porn. Really? Yeah. I've seen dudes just full on like. Like on an iPad, like the the thirteen inch Retina display. I was gonna say, can like, you imagine? Like you're on the train with your iPad no, genuinely, Pro, genuinely, with your, he with has your the big Apple one. pencil scrolling yeah, through, going fucking... through just dojins, just going through porn. And are like, they just, like? Are they like just their expression is just like unchanged? Yeah, and it's and the dudes are like. <laughs> is it under the guise that it's art, or are they just horny on me? I think it's just like oh, it's like not. I think it's frowned upon. I don't even know because like when you ask Japanese people, they're like, "Yeah, that's fucking weird." But just people just do it. And then I have to, I have to remember I can't just show weird shit on my phone when I'm on the train or anything here. Right. Dead pen like, on that the is subway. Really yeah. Up. One of my favorite bits is showing Aiden like <laughs> weird porn in Rule Thirty Four are in public. So like, if we're on a plane, I'll pull up, I'll pull up <laughs> Shrek penis. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you are becoming me. We're this. This is the first time you've ever what, what changed it? into me a little bit. What is it about just showing porn to Wales Well, so great question, Connor. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> yeah, what the you fuck know? was that for? Oh, being slime. He's oh. being me. He's, uh, he's sad because I cornered him. Because I, I'm 32, right? And all these little bears, they all sort of start to gravitate toward who I am because I'm correct. And I have more <laughs> years on He's going right? to die soon and he wants to feel an attachment to do this you earth know when he what leaves. Don't we all love no. yeah, confirmation Yeah, I do know, yeah, I do know confirmation yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so he's the last one. We're probably the most, <laughs> we're probably the most, <laughs> the most different you could be in a lot of ways. But the fact that he's doing that to Aiden now is funny because he got mad because there's a picture, a zipper if you could bring it up, of Mr. Krabs. Well, it's a tomato. And it <laughs> Just show him the tomato. Don't know context. And, no. <laughs> There's a picture. You know Mr. And, Krabs from SpongeBob, of right? And I would send this to money, Ludwig, money, money. and he'd be like, "Pro," and he he would talk about how he didn't like it. Maybe he was playing it up, way with this and that. But you know, it made me pull the brakes on that. It's like, okay, I won't send him tomato pictures anymore. Now he's doing it all the time to Amon because we're the same. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the, the one. picture. That's the one zipper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's, it's just, just a tomato, tomato. Wow. it is just you don't a have tomato to be. yeah but uh, that's very uh, why are you being weird about it uh, just, you're being weird <laughs> I'm, I'm getting bricked up I don't, know. <laughs> don't blur it I'm sticked up uh, bricked up don't blur it I don't care <laughs> I'll watch the world burn what do you mean don't blur don't it don't blur it when we put this in the pod show it oh I'm show down the fuck it I'm down a ball you ready to ball no, yeah, let's, let's ball blur fuck it. it okay oh come on they can google it yeah. they yeah. can google it <laughs> Google Mr. Mr. Krabs, Krabs tomato. tomato. Yeah, I like getting Connor's special yard episode demonetized instantly. <laughs> no, I got to perform well, so I feel like I was a good guest. Yeah, uh, how else can I judge if I was a good guest? We torpedo it, so it's like, yeah, I don't know, bro. You just fucking suck. Uh, like, don't don't, ever, don't no fucking views. talk to us Wait, ever again. Would you know the gender breakdown of your trash taste uh, podcast? I think so. No, I think it's uh, eighty to ninety percent dudes. I think is okay. it? We're the yeah. same. You know, I would have yeah. guessed it was. It's probably closer to eight twenty. I actually ours. expected your, I, you know your guys to be they're all a little hotter. more even than ours. I can just check. Well, I thought it would I mean, go. I can just check, but it's they're like, what? They're all hotter, so I thought it'd go more girls. They we're all hotter. I don't think that factors. It. I don't think people watch a podcast because they're like whoa, 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 whoa. And you don't think want, if they were all super attractive guys, it, there wouldn't be a higher female audience. 
I don't think it has that much of an influence. I do. I think I bring down. I bring down our female viewership. <laughs> probably like, <laughs> yeah, not because uh, of your <laughs> face, but because of your words. No, no, no. I think my face and my lack of hair gives us like a two percent deficit. No, but you remind half of them of their diet. Yeah, it's so like eighty percent more. Man. That it balances out. Eighty percent. Yeah. So that's a pretty significant. That's a little better than for us. three yeah. three dudes. That's pretty good. I used to have um. On my own channel, I used to have ninety three percent female at one point. No, whoa, yeah, wait, yeah. what do you? you I told you, you're you kind of tapped into it earlier, but what do you post? I've never so, seen. So yeah, so my content's changed like a bunch, many times. Um, I I got my start from doing um anime. I used to pretend to be anime characters. I'd copy like the English dub, and I would prank call places, and that was just yeah, what I did. That's pretty good. And I mean, it's no, you don't have to. Don't, don't tell no, me no. That. I think I think that's a better model than just doing uh, anime sketch comedy as it is on YouTube, which is already pretty lazy, but at least yeah. you incorporate a sense of like prank calling. Which I yeah, think I kind of started I like better. that. It's better then... than the rest of the category at the time, which was white guy doing an Indian accent calling a local pizza place. Yeah. That was like yeah. half of the oh, content. Yeah. yeah. And so like, there was, I do remember that. There was um, the main character that I kind of copied uh, was, uh, do you know Black Butler? Do you know mm -hmm. the show? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. So it's about this show where there's this really attractive British Butler character and he's like a demon and shit. And, um, yeah, and so I would just copy his accent, and um, it was a very popular show with mainly uh, women. So that's how I kind of got my oh, start. Oh, I see, I see. And I, I kept this, this thing going for a very long time. And then afterwards, I was like, I'm fucking miserable. I don't want to do this fucking impression yep. shit anymore. And I just started changing it slowly. And somehow I managed to get out of that. Normally, it's like a death sentence when you try and change your content. That's scary. Changing but yeah, that I, way, I, made, right? I kind of did it over the space of three years. It was like a drip feed of change. Yeah. Mark. Until the every once in a while you're like just using your normal yeah, voice. It would be every, every <laughs> once in a while it would be just a video with me and my face. But I would always try and so like to steer it away. It was like I would do something with me, but with anime, and maybe I would incorporate uh. impressions. But I was on camera, and so it was kind of like and over like three years I would kind of just keep what pushing was like this stuff. Your first big departure that you were like, I think this might ruin my channel, but I need to post it. Do you remember like? Do you have like a big product that was like, this is nothing like something I posted? Yeah, I think it like bombed though. Like, what was <laughs> oh. it? Yeah, it's like some stupid, like, you know, like when you, just, that era of YouTube, where everyone to be filthy Frank. It yeah. was like that kind of mm -hmm. era where it was like, oh, I'm just going to do this fucking shit you sketch. You hair cake again. No, not that, no, not that bad. Yeah. It was just like that kind that's of- That's just humor. called cooking and Everyone at school. Everyone That's cooking and Everyone at school was talking about hair cake. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, but I'm, you know, somehow I managed to steer away. I, you know, a lot of people who want to change their content, they, they, they're impatient. You really have to like work towards it and you have to do it slowly. Yeah. I, think, I think it can be done, um, but yeah, you have to be really careful with it. It's like turning a cruise ship. Yeah, it, it, exactly. Mm. You try and steer that thing too much, you're going to flip the boat. What's like your pie chart of- priority for your for the stuff that you make because like for me right i don't really have a youtube channel or stream yeah so it's like as far as content goes it's like the podcast is everything for me yeah, yeah. but for him right it's just a small slice of his life yeah so, so i'm i've been a, i was a youtuber for my my entire like career online so that has always been my main thing but then two years ago we started the podcast and then now that's a really big thing and it does better than a lot of our channels kind of i mean it gets like a million views an episode my channel gets around the same thing, but it's like, okay, this is like every week though as well. The frequency, yeah. I mean, I, so, I think even your main channel, like keeping up with a project where like three prominent hard. creators are yeah. all combining their efforts is pretty mm. impressive. Yeah, it's hard. And then also I do streaming a bunch as well. Mm -hmm. Try to, but this guy always gives me sh like shit for not streaming enough. Not stream enough. Because I, I do, I do, I'm doing pretty okay now with streaming as well, I think. I'm, I'm pulling in good numbers. And, What's uh, your numbers? I'll, he's, I'll he's, judge if they're good. He streams like a, like a, like a cheater. What are you playing? Are you on Twitch? He's like all Twitch. on and he's just so lovey-dovey to his viewers and it'll be live like 30, 40 hours in a week and then he's like, all right, then we'll, uh, I'll be taking the next four weeks off. <laughs> and then it's like, and it's like, what, I, we had a good thing going. Like, this was fun. Yeah. What uh, viewers do you, how much viewers do you get? Uh, it like really average. depends. I mean, I'd say around. He's like a 15K Andy. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. He's got a big fucking peep. <laughs> yeah. But that, but that was like, I, I, I always wanted to do more Twitch, but I never really just got that kick to do it. And it was actually a chess event that got me into it more. Mm. And oh. I, I couldn't pull like 400 viewers. But Whoa. then I think, uh, yeah, just two, in like two what years. Was it the Trash Chase chess special? Yeah, that's what got me into it. And I, and I was getting 1K average. And I was like, oh my fucking God. This chess is, also made me. Yeah, this is like, I was like, this is insane. I'm getting you guys, 1K. Do you guys play chess? Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Elo uh, check, Elo check, Elo check. Uh, I, I, I say 1,200, but it's probably like, it's probably like 800 now. Uh, I haven't played enough. Do any of you play the big, Go? The big range. Yeah, <laughs> 800, 1200. Well, Could I, mean, I get to his well. fucking chest level or what? Could you? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyone. Anyone. Would I have to try really hard. I think you, I think to get you to would, you would have to train. Okay. It's not like you could try hard <laughs> and be like the bottom floor of what he said. I think it would take you two months. Two months. Wait. Explain this to me in melee terms. Just practice for two months. Eight hundred elo in chess <laughs> is winning one match at a local and losing to everyone else. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's valid. All what right. was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Uh, you just said that yeah, like, I inspired right? you to yeah. stream. And then I was like, fuck it, I'll keep going. And uh, you know, I, being from like a YouTube background, I was doing what he was doing before I saw what you were doing, which was like, I was just focusing entirely on like making a video into a YouTube video. Uh, the stream, sorry, into the YouTube video. That's yeah, the way to go. That is the strat. I didn't realize that uh, people hadn't realized that until I went to- People don't know. Yeah, I went to Cutie's after party after the stream rewards and Poke was there, Poke Lols. Was another streamer and yeah. he was like he was like first of all he had a golden blunt that he let me hit that was tight and it was in a <laughs> case like a harmonica that type yeah yeah uh, he was telling me about that and uh and then while he was he was chief in that shit he was like <laughs> bro honestly like you don't even understand like you really like changed it like because before people were making youtube videos yeah I, I don't know how people didn't figure this out because to me it felt like just the natural way to do yeah. it. Mm. Uh, but that's obviously because I was more of a always been because a clicking, YouTuber. Because clicking live is just you do it and then you're live and then the content's being made actively. YouTube is like effort. Yeah, but also, I, to I'll, me, I, I was like, why would I do an amazing stream and just let it go into the void? Dude, mm. I think up until the last couple years too, you on Twitch, you could really just boot up games and play them. Yeah. But now there's like a higher expectation. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. What, I think I that's, that, that's been capped for five years. Because for me, it was like, I, I love doing my main stuff, but it got way to the, like the, the quality of what I was trying to go for was way too high for some of the ideas I really wanted to do. And so it kind of just let me go wild because I had so many fun ideas that I just, that just wouldn't be good enough for the main channel mm -hmm. that fit perfectly into the second channel. Did you, uh, you, you're, we're the same age. So were you watching YouTube when you were a kid? Yeah. I've been watching YouTube since I was like, did you like want to be a YouTuber when you were a kid? Was, like, never, never, really? never. I did never you had watch any inkling. only use me blade. <laughs> I I know who that is. I have seen it because I, I was like a big cod guy. I don't know it, but that yeah, I don't brother. know any of this. But <laughs> yeah. I say that because it makes He's people react. Goat. It's the Mount Rushmore. It's only used to be played. What wings of redemption? redemption. You got Jaws. Jaws. That's White Boy Seventh Street. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I White, used to White play Boy cod is like the a only madman. one who came out of that without like a felony. <laughs> I used to play so much cod. Well, what's your what's your cod of choice? Uh Black Ops Two is one of my favorite. Black Ops 2 is so good. Uh, yeah, I won like a bunch of uh, like tournaments. That's, like, the, back that's in, uh, the best competitive. Black Ops 2 is the sure. best competitive COD. Well, I no Kizzy. Did you ever play uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare that. 3? Huh? Modern Warfare 3? Yeah, the one so, where everything is in sepia tone. Did you ever get? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did you ever get? Because there was a thing you could buy called Call of Duty Elite. Did you ever buy this? Uh, yeah, was I it remember like, this. Was it, was it like I the, remember this. the top tier package of the game? It was the the DLC you get, but they ran online competitions. And you would win oh, shit. And no, so I, I won a that. bunch of shit. I won like an iPad. I won Whoa. like a poker set. I've still got it. It's a COD wow, Elite dude, poker you were set. fucking good then. I, I uh, played all my yeah, tournaments good. on uh, game battles. Oh, I did game battles as well. Yeah. But then I wanted to win prizes. And like some people won like <laughs> Jeeps and stuff. Um, I won a bunch of random shit. And when it all turned up to my house, my parents were like, what the fuck did you do? Did you send nudes to people for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they assume no, that? Okay, yeah. They, but yeah, they were super chill about it. I, I had the, I, I, it was like, fun. Yeah. When I was right. in um uh, eighth grade, that's when Modern Warfare Two came out, and yeah. uh, and the local GameStop they had like the I think it was like the Veteran Edition where they would come with a pair of night vision goggles. Yeah, and I was yeah, like, I, I was this. like, I need these. Like I've I've, I've never needed something more in my entire life. Oh my god! And I, I waited in line. I skipped school because uh, it was like a midnight wait, and I yeah. skipped school the next yeah. day. And I got the night vision goggles. I still have them to this day. I still have. Oh my god! Them. That's and sick. Uh, I was at my I visited my parents like three like three years ago or something, and uh, I dug them up. I'm like, oh shit! And I remember when I was a kid, I broke them. Like when I was oh. in high school, I broke them because one of like the wires came out. Yeah. When I was in high school, it's just like a wire breaks. It's like I don't know how to fix that. They're yeah. broken forever. Yeah. But as an adult, I'm like I can I can do this. So I I fixed them, and right when I fixed them, our whole power went out in all of our neighborhood. And I I needed them. Oh my god! And so I just had working night vision goggles. Yeah, I'm walking dude. around my parents' That's house like hello, epic, dude. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, yeah, but uh, shut up. Modern Warfare 2 Night Vision Yeah, I remember you took a picture uh, of those like and you were like in the bathroom. Yeah, like, in front shitting. of my toilet. Yeah. Yeah, it's That's like a what's very up? iconic Sims. picture. Yeah. Because it's like it, it any any real one is like, dude, those are the night vision goggles. They work like shit, you have no death perception. It's really? just a camera inside. Oh my god. That's like is green. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you can't see where your hands I, are. I wish I could my mom my mom would never buy that for me. Look, the globe is desperately trying to get us out. Dude, I, I have tell. so much urine full up. He's trying to get us out. Mouth. We hit our ninety minutes. Oh. Fine, then 
then you take us out. You you put, put kick our beautiful guest out of the house. Then in his own Ludwig. accent, Connor, get the fuck out of my. Okay, Connor. <sighs> Go on, we gotta go back to the fucking no, dimension. You're doing Australian Rick and Morty. I don't know. We gotta go to the bush dimension, Connor. <laughs> what is God, that? That I, wasn't even Australian. Well, it's been a great time hanging out yeah, with this you, is Connor. Awesome, dog. Dude. You guys, are, you guys are sick, dude. I have to pee so bad. Connor. All right, now, no, no, now no, all no, of wait, us wait, one wait. by one have I to come on your podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, you rode on the vet. Would you? Did you hold on to him? I held on to him. You rode by himself too. I had a spare. How fast you go? How many I, miles? I, I, I think I think you full throttle probably about forty. As full as it, as fast as it was uphill, so forty. Yeah. You really? I was too scared. Why? Like, it feels pretty stable. I was like, I'm not I ready. I gunned it with him. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not ready. Anyway, if you want to see a picture of that, go find it. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, I. Dude, he's what's so it close. Dude, he's dude, it's there. It's there. Off. I can see. Where you can see where? Wait, what? Can you where? see him in the vent? Is this not the most exciting thing that's ever happened on the podcast? This is crazy. This, is, this actually this is, is awesome. Crazy. I wish we had a camera on. This is a real yard. Yeah. yeah. You guys <laughs> yeah. have reached. It's 